You are now in tune with Broad Band Bully. We've been to need a no one, baby. Let's go. Word around, this nigga's running around. These niggas tryna check this out, okay. Turn around, I'm talking man down. You niggas on the spice, cause I ain't playing with these niggas, I ain't with it. Back against the wall, man, I'm out here trying to get it. I ain't running from nothing. Tell him I ain't never I ain't running from nothing. You can tell him I ain't never I ain't running from nothing. You are now in tune with Broad Band Bully. We've been to need a no one, baby. Let's go. Word around, they see me right around. These niggas try to check this out, okay. Turn around, I'm talking man down. Niggas on the spice, cause I ain't playing with these niggas, I ain't with it. Back against the wall, man, I'm out here trying to get it. I ain't running from nothing. Tell them I ain't never, I ain't running from nothing. You can tell them I ain't never, I ain't running from nothing. Word around, these niggas right around. These niggas trying to In the slammer or buried by the hammer. The rich are getting rich, is war amongst the famine. Watch how you move out here, keep a tool out here. The weather, the only thing that's cool out here. Never judge a book by its cover, know the rules. I seen the smile, niggas get clapped by a fool. I don't trust friends too much, they really there in the clutch. And if they is, they trying to do you in. I seen niggas in the hood filled with so much stress. They out here stealing cars despite the GPS, yes. No longer comfy in the LS. No money for the people, what they tell us. Conversation with AP in the Discord. I can tell by our voice, we both feel with Discord. All I can say is hold your head. Where we from, we got a 50 50 chance, damn. This year been filled with not again. Praying I don't get a call from Z like he got shot again. Knowing him, his pride won't let it slide, so I. Pray for him every time you take a ride, no holidays. We hardly have days that we can manage. More time in the hood, these young is doing damage. No Thanksgiving, still get cranberry over your dressing. 85% of I study every expression. The culture body ecstatic, then reads a message. You niggas hating on your own equals, steal from the wrong people. And they look just like you. And they ain't got much, homie, just like you. It's been crazy round here, my sleeping balance. Trying to shake these demons, sleep paralysis. Late night conversation with Sue doing this quarantine. Just say he numb to death. He don't feel a thing. Despite the pain, we still proud. Though we lost more than we gained, we still smile. So we get on these podcasts and we act the fool. Only the master shit that we going through. Ain't talk to masks in a minute, but I understand the situation. I told King he was my motivation. Ownership over money, he dropped a G-Wagon on that foundation. But I throw it away, if he can say the day. Another day, you know I would have been gone. The other day, he just texted my phone. Yeah. Been crazy. Moss taking care of fam, so he rarely around. When he ain't dealing with reality, he in the clouds. Despite the pain, we still proud. Though we lost more than we gained, we still smile. Yeah. You eat the lot. 
locked in the slammer or buried by the hammer. The rich are getting richer, it's war amongst the famine. Watch how you move out here, keep a tool out here. The weather, the only thing that's cool out here. Never judge a book by its cover, know the rules. I seen the smartest niggas get clapped by a fool. I don't trust friends too much, they really there in the clutch. And if they is, they trying to do you in. I seen niggas in the hood filled with so much stress. They out here stealing cars despite the GPS, yes. No longer comfy in the LS. No money for the people, what they tell us. We are live. We are live. We are live. We are live. And my stomach hurts, but we are live. <laughs> we Lord live with Jesus. We are live. We are live. Say your prayers. Eat your vitamins. Be true to yourself. True to your country. Be a real American. Well, ladies and gentlemen, many times in America, they tell me, that our justice system failed or didn't work out right. Well, not this time. <laughs> this time. I want to. I want to stop Ricky right there. You lucky I did not screenshot what you what you said. You told me that this deal wasn't going through. Well, I did. You was wrong. Well, brother. hey, listen, the Rick can't be right all the time. But when you have uh, collusion involved. You know that that's when you uh, when you think things are not going to go right when you when you have the Mark Furmans of the world or people like that you know in the whole thing here messing stuff up you know you figure it's not going to go through a lot of bumps after a while you figure that Microsoft was probably just going to abandon the deal that's what I thought a lot of times I'll be honest with you after all that they had to fight for to get it and trying to stop them. I was like, you know, is it worth it? You know, that was that was one of my one of my whole things. There it was like, yo, I don't know if this is worth it. And I kept saying that, and I stood by that in the beginning because after a while, let's be honest, COD is not the powerhouse that it used to be. You know, I remember when Call of Duty this used ain't to late two thousand. Exactly, bro. I bro, I remember my brother used to get COD, and he used to pre-order it. Midnight launch. These things came with like uh, drones and remote control cars and. And all kinds of stuff like that. I mean, that's that's the COD that I remember. And I know for a fact that it ain't like that no more. You know, I know it's not like that anymore. Well, well technically, if you want if you want to say it's not like that, that's kind of not true, too. Because guess what? Back then, all you had was map packs, game, right? Yeah, yeah. So that's, 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 fit, yeah. that's six, that's 59. Hold on, hold on. Uh, that's 59 99 well, a little more than that now. Right? <laughs> a little more than that right. now. But before you yeah, but before you start that, the red lion, my friend, I would like to acknowledge the chat. Shout out to Deuce Deuce. I see him in here. Max City, the ultimate bot. I see he's in here. Merc Briarios is in here. Pastor Joe is in here. Anybody else? I can't see you because you didn't type something. But that's who's here. I appreciate y'all for coming through, especially a late, a late edition of the arcade. I appreciate that for y'all coming through. And, you know, today is bittersweet. It's bittersweet because it looks like, no, it don't look like the FTC can't do anything else to stop this deal. It's all up to the CMA now. Same, see, Ty, we were talking about the CMA. CMA is still holding this thing up. I'm not saying that it's not going to get done, but that's what's going no, on here. It's, it's over. You know, they it, lost. Bro, it's over. Hey, man, it's over. we, we a lot of stuff that's going to be going on in the future when it comes to gaming, particularly a certain company, which is Nintendo, because Microsoft thinks that the Switch, the Switch 2, could be coming out next year. Well, it's funny that you should mention that, the Switch 2, because when it comes down to it, at least in America, Levon, the Switch is what got this deal pushed through. It was the fact that that judge acknowledged the Switch being a competitor towards the PlayStation and the Xbox. And, Levon, what was the hints on that Switch 2 coming out? Mm-hmm. With the, when, what date do they have? A release date on that? Or well, I don't th- I think they just said 2024, so I'm guessing early to mid-2024, that's when I think it's coming out. Mm-hmm. But... 
And it could be holiday 2024. It could be November 2024. That That's when I think that's the latest that it will be, be, be released. That's just me. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, hey, we can't ignore the elephant in the room. Appreciate the switch talk. We need to tackle this ABK thing and then get this out of the way because it was the subject. I, I got one thing to say. Go ahead. Start that. Go ahead, brother. I have felt bad for for Leah Khan. I think that's how you say her name. Oh, Lena Khan. Lena Khan. I, I I have felt bad for her. Well, I, I yeah, I, I thought they were throwing too much mud on her. Hold on, Rick. Before I you finish so. that, I got a I got a tack that worked right. I got lied on right. So I, I felt kind of bad for her. And then I turned around, and you know she turned around and put the blame on everybody. Yes, yeah, she did. She blamed everybody but herself. Bro, she, and blamed, I, she and, blamed her and, team. The, she blamed her team. Excuse the print, because it ain't going to come out all the way. But F that lady. F her. You, you the leader, and you want to blame everybody else? And when that man said that to her, her he, no oh, when he said her. when he said shame on you for blaming your staff, yeah, buddy, yeah, yeah buddy was tripping like he was, yo, they, they listen. Now, before people get it twisted, it's not like Lena Khan does all bad, you know, but it's just that you can't arrest people for crimes they didn't commit, and that's what she's trying to do. You can't, you can't do that, and that's that's the problem. Is there's no law. Against big tech buying stuff, and until they on, she create that law, bad. she's no. over and flow, Richie. Yeah, she's there, flow. I'm, on mergers. Oh, oh, on hold on, on mergers. She's. I'm talking. Not talking about mergers. I get it. Mergers. She doesn't like big tech. No Democrat does. That's just what it is. And I, I hate to go political, but that's what it is. Well, listen, we knew they weren't granting that appeal with two of those Republican judges on that panel. They they laughed. They was like, oh hell no, like we ain't, we ain't doing this. So we knew that that wasn't going to happen. But as I'm not talking about her doing good. As far as her mergers and trying to stop big tech, that's where she failed. First of all, scared money don't make no money. You can't stop people from buying shit. Nobody's going to sign a law that says people with a lot of money can't buy stuff. That's how this damn world was started over here. The new world, as they call it. It's for people to have money. So basically, if you're big tech and you're worth trillions of dollars... And then you tell them, well, you can't buy anything else. That means your money's worthless. What's the whole point of that? It doesn't make any sense. Money is money. So the way that she, I get what she's trying to say. Look, I knew she was tripping when she wrote a thesis on that Amazon's prices were too low, which she is somewhat correct with. Listen, that's why I said she's not all bad. She's right. Amazon prices were too low. That's why Toys R Us was out of business. That's why all the toy stores was out of business. That's why the malls and shit are out of business. She's right about that because if Amazon has the same shirt that the mall has, that a department store has, and it's $30 cheaper, and you can get it in two days, free shipping, how do you compete with that? She's absolutely right about that. You know, Amazon killed the mall. That, that's what it was. And the mall was one of the biggest things in America that we had. And, you know, that's going to die soon. She's right for, for that, saying that Amazon shit was too cheap. 100%. Oh, shout out to Onyx. He said, I'm going to catch the replay, y'all. I'm on vacation. No doubt, brother. We appreciate it. Appreciate you coming through, bro. I know this is an odd time. Mac, Mac, listen, you ain't no Xbox-centric channel without Mac coming through. That's just, uh, you know, what it is. But, you know, like I said, I, I I think, you know, she does do some good, but I thought this was the wrong fight to pick. Wrong fight to pick. And me being a gamer and all of us on the panel being a gamer and all those in the chat being gamers and those in the Discord being gamers, it, you know, it made you upset. And it seemed like, and that's why I played the Hulk Hogan Real American song, because it seemed like an American body, American regulation, regulate, regulatory body was capping for a Japanese freaking company. Like, what the fuck? What has America come to? Like, yo, that was crazy. And then and then those those congressmen and women were at that hearing. They were saying that. They was like, yo, this is an American company, and you're freaking capping for the Japanese company. Like, what is that about? That's un-American. And that's when she blamed her team. She's like, ah, right, that wasn't me. But, yo, that's crazy. Uh, Mac, Mac says, uh, Lena is not good for a consumer. She willing to sue everything for no reason. That's partly true, Mac. She just don't like big tech. She don't like big companies. Meaning anybody that's Microsoft, that's Apple, that's Amazon, 
that's uh, mad. Uh, she's gonna give them the smoke. That's what's gonna happen. And you a big company like that, they gonna give you. She gonna give you the smoke. You know, that's just what it's gonna be. But now that this deal is over with, Game Pass is going to be a problem, a big problem, big problem. Like, how do you? You can't even compare. Ubisoft little subscription service, EA's little subscription service, PlayStation's little subscription service, and now you have what Xbox, ABK, and Bethesda have. Like, that is a damn monster, monster full of content. Now, they are, I don't know how you compete with that. How, how could any game stream it? Well, EA already is on board. It's, hey, look. We're going to put our shit in, in, in Game Pass. So, you know, you ain't got to worry about EA. EA says, yeah, we want some of that. We want we want some of this subscription service here. Get you in there. But, man, that's uh, that Game Pass is going to be a monster. Now, look, I don't know when those Call of Duties are going in there. I have no idea. They're talking 2025. But then I also read somewhere where Sony might be dropping the marketing rights of Call of Duty because they have to pay advertisement. And they said now people are going to look at Call of Duty as an Xbox property, so why should they even bother? Which brings me to yeah. another part of this ABK deal going to be cleared here is you realize Sony didn't sign that 10-year deal. I just want to piggyback on something you just said. You can you can go back and play any Call of Duty right now on the Xbox. They open all the servers back up. Oh man. And you find games like in, in like 3 seconds. Now, is that going to be the same on PlayStation, or is that only on Xbox? No, that's. I think that's only for us, because PlayStation can't go all the way back to the pit. They don't have a Call of Duty games on their marketplace. They got the new ones, oh, but they don't got the old ones. Oh, shit. So, you can go. I was playing Black. I was telling them later on, I was playing Black Ops earlier. Unless Still got smooth. got that old PS3. <laughs> yeah. Right around somewhere. Oh, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's crazy, but that's that's look that that's pretty much all I got to say on it. You know, our other panel members, the Parkers of the world, the Lokis, Pastor Joe said he was coming in here, but that I said my piece on ABK. I'm I'm glad it's over with. Um, that Game Pass is going to be a monster, and listen, let's see where it goes from here. Let's see what exclusives come out of it. We know COD is not going to be one of those exclusives. So, uh, you know, what do you guys think? What do you think, Levon? I never really heard you say much on the whole ABK thing. What well, do you honestly, think? I didn't really care about it much. And honestly, all I care about is Crash Bandicoot. Okay, I'm going to be real with you right now. All I care about from Activision is just gra- ca- Crash Bandicoot. Okay. No more, none less. You know, Call of Duty, you know, I'll play it every now and then. You know, it's cool, but it's it's not what I'm really, really interested in like that when it comes to Activision at this point. Um, I say Crash Bandicoot, so yeah, that's all that matters to me. But I'm gonna steer the ship actually to an IP that you two might remember. Okay. Do you guys remember Gex? I do. Gex was he was first on the Panasonic 3DO. That was his debut, but they didn't sold exclus they didn't hold exclusivity rights on Gex. And what ended up happening, it ended up getting ported to all the other systems, too. I still have the first Gex for my 3DO. And um, that was a good game. That was like their platformer. I thought that was going to be like their mascot with Gex, but it didn't work out. It ended up going on other systems. But yes, I do remember Gex. Gex was by Crystal Dynamics. Yeah. No. What if I were to tell you that Gex will be coming on your Xbox series? your Nintendo Switch, and your PlayStations. Because Limited Run Games had a little showcase, and they had a Gex Trilogy, and now it's coming this year on, um, you know, the modern systems, such as, you know, your PlayStation, your Xbox, and your PC, and your Switch. So are any of you guys going to get this Gex um, Trilogy on? I I will. I'm I definitely. Don't, okay. I don't even know what that is. What? I'm trying to figure this out because y'all was going so fast. Who you say it's Gex? Is this Rudy Poo? 
Gex. You, you don't know Gex the trilogy? Gex. Gex was out at the heyday of the platformers when Sonic was there and Mario's always been there. I mean, he he ended up being like more famous than Alex Kidd. He was uh he was like, vo- he was like voiced G-A-X? G E X. He's a he, he was the first famous gecko, not that oh, Geico. Okay, dude. okay, yeah. okay. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Okay. Yeah, he was voiced by Dana Gold, who used to be on the the HBO um show. He was a comedian. He used to do the voice for him. And I like, didn't YouTube it because I I didn't because I'm like, what is like it sounded familiar, but I didn't quite. Yeah, you used to eat like, the flies and stuff together. to get your energy yeah, back. Yeah, I just looked at it on YouTube. Yeah, I know that what that oh, is. All right, guys, I'm bubbling. Take the wheel. All right, I'm gonna take the reel from here. So I might, I don't know. I might pick. I I might pick it up. I might. I might pick this up. As far as which platform, though, I'm leaning towards maybe PlayStation or That's Steam more like Deck. a Nintendo. That's like more like a Nintendo. Yeah, game. Maybe, maybe the Switch. Maybe. But are you gonna pick this up? No, I'm not gonna. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you, no. I played it back then, but it, I like, I picked like Sonic over that game. Well, they, well, they got, uh, a new Sonic, well, they got a new Sonic game though. They, they got Sonic Superstars. You, you know what I think they should bring back. I, I know many people probably don't know because a lot of people young, but Earthworm Jim. I like the Earthworm Jim. I think, I think that's a game they need to bring. But I don't know if you played that game or not. Um. Yeah. Yeah. See, a lot of people, a lot of younger people, don't. They haven't played that, but I, I feel like that's better than Dex, honestly. Mm. I played it but. on Wii Virtual Console. That that's where I played Wii Virtual Console. That that was a great thing that Nintendo had back in the Wii days and even the Wii U days. But let's get on to the next topic. Black Panther is getting a video game. That's right. They're getting he's getting his own video game. It's being made by Cliffhanger Games and it's with what the they made? EA. Hmm? What they made? What did they make? Did they make the Star Wars game? Uh they made uh what some people were in call they did Call of Duty, um Halo Infinite and Middle Middle, Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor. I liked it, like that, that game. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So. So this is gonna be their first time making that type of game, like a superhero game. Yeah, like a acted action adventure sandbox game. Hmm. Yeah. I'm gonna give him a chance. I ain't gonna bad mouth him yet. I'm gonna give him a chance. Black Panther wasn't really like one of my favorite Marvel heroes like that. You know, I've heard of him. I I even had an action figure when I was a little kid. But I was always like a Spider-Man Hulk type of person when it comes to the Marvel superheroes. Like I knew of Black Panther, but I never really like read his comics and all that. You know, I watched the Black Panther movie, the first one. It, it was cool. It was cool for what it was, but I wasn't like a hardcore um, Black Panther person or anything like that. Hold on. I think it's kind of. I mean. I... I don't. I don't want to ruin. I don't because I don't want to ruin nothing. But I. Don't, I don't know if you read any of the comic books now. But he got like he got like powers that's putting him on like Jesus level. He got like a spirit of a panther. He can make like a, a like an energy spirit of a panther come around his body now. So I don't know if they're gonna put that type of stuff in the game. I hope they don't. But so, but hopefully. But I think it's gonna be all right. I just, I feel like certain people shouldn't have a video game like Superman. Buck, Buck, how you feeling? I feel like Super, uh, Superman shouldn't have a game. He's too strong. Black Panther can fight some of his people, so it's okay. I just don't, I, I think they should do it how they did, like Wolverine game, where you go around and you just fight people. Because normal people still can fight me even though they can't win. Buck, you there? I'm, I'm not Buck. Oh, I'm by myself. I'm by myself. Uh, right away. Uh, Ricky Brown got uh, a bubble gut, so he ain't he he going to the bathroom. 
Did I just, just I look, 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 hold on, hold on. Ricky Brown, really? He fucking, uh, he left his post. He had to go to the bathroom when he was going to do a number two on himself. He got to go. Yeah, okay, well. Damn. I heard, so, I, heard uh, I heard. that nobody was in here, and it was like dead air. I'm like, I just got to my computer. I'm, I'm about to go live, actually, after this. So whenever you guys finish up, I'm going to go live. And... I just put your, put your, I guess, your Discord in the thing so we can join it. But yeah, it's just me right now. Talking about the Black Panther game. Were you yeah. supposed to be? Were you supposed to be hosting this for them? Uh, Levon was just here. So <laughs> yeah, I guess just it's like he up. left his post. Yeah, I don't know if he got a phone call or not. So we are gonna revert to. Uh... Yeah, I fuck you. Hey, man. Nah, ain't nobody hating on the ABK deal. Okay, we getting more people in here. We got uh, got who twenty two up here. Okay. Oh, so I guess I'm finna spin it. We're gonna revert back because I ain't getting none of y'all opinions. But how you feel about the uh, the ABK deal? You think it was right? Think it was wrong? Uh, oh no, personally, I'm not for the. It's not. It's not wrong in the sense that I don't care that it's Microsoft or whoever it is. Overall, I don't. I think corporations have too much control. And, and no, I'm not because they. I, in my opinion, they are breaking laws to to get these deals done. Um, but I'm I'm really glad it's over. You know, I, I hope it. I hope it's over. I hope it's over because I just don't want to talk about it anymore. It's just ridiculous. You know. They said they said they might close on Monday. Everybody keeps saying Monday might be the closing date because some stuff that went on Friday. They think it's either mo- uh, Monday by the earliest. Yeah. I hope it is because honestly, all right, I'm I back. Like... What's up? There you go. Oh, later I'm back. Uh, I'm back. What's up, Buck? What's up? What do you think of Gex trilogy? What do you think of Gex coming back? Wait, wait, hold up, Levon. We talking about the um, yeah. ABK I reverted deal. back because because everybody was acting about the ABK deal. I reverted back. Oh, you left. I okay, had to wing okay. It. okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> so, um, my opinion, I don't give a damn about like either way. I don't play COD. I don't play Candy Crush. So it means nothing to me. Um, will I be able to play it on Game Pass? Yes, because I got Game Pass. But either way, I mean, I'm happy it's over because I'm tired of everybody talking about it. Um, but I don't care either way. It's fine by me, or if it's not fine, that's how I feel. It's not. It's not changing anything. It's just changing right. hands, you know. Right. Pretty much. Right. I got a question for y'all. I got a question. Do y'all mm-hmm. think they're gonna ask to remake that Spider-Man game that the Activision had made? Um, probably. Probably what remake of a Spider-Man game. Then Activision, Activision, made, Activision a made a Spider-Man game. game a minute ago. So, are they? Are they? I don't know. Cause doesn't Sony own the rights, the video game rights to it? Like to to the character, I mean, don't don't they own the video game rights to the character? Yeah, but ain't that's a totally different Spider Man, or does or it don't matter what Spider Man it is? I'm see, I, I'm not sure, man. I'm not a lawyer. I don't want to be lying up on Ricky's show, so uh, I think Sony has the rights to it, but I'm not sure. I'll leave it up to the to the experts, like Post. They got more than just Call of Duty. They got some games that they can bring back. All right, and so Iron looking. Mike says, uh, no, they own the movie rights and the rights to their own version of, of Spider-Man. That's what he has heard as far as that goes. All right, okay. Well, that's why I said I'm, I'm not 100% sure, so I don't, I don't know how that would work out for Microsoft. Okay, that's crazy. But, but, um, you, you, you did ask about Black game. Panther. I'm sorry. Yeah. Um, you did ask about Black Panther. Um, I'm excited about um, any Marvel game as long as as long as EA is not making it because I can't do the Michael transactions with EA. You know what I mean? Like as long as they're not making it, I'm good. Honestly, you know, at least we're getting more Marvel games besides from Sony. You know, yeah, yeah, that, that's, that's a good thing. So. I'm glad for that, if anything. So, Buck, I got to ask you about this, you know, since you were around in the 80s and 90s. Um, oh. Damn, you he heard of um, Gex Batman. before? I'm proud of that. What, what, what's that? You heard of Gex? Yeah, I think so. Like, that started the first time I remember Gex. I think it was on a Neo Geo or one of those systems, like a Saturn. Yeah, it was on the 3DO. The, I, and Yeah, 3DO. That's what it was. The 3DO. Yeah. Yeah, yeah so right. what if I were to tell you that they're they're making a trilogy for you know your modern consoles such as mm. your PlayStation fives, your fours, your switches, uh, and your Xboxes. How how do you feel about that? I feel that's great for uh, Patton Oswalt 
because he plays he played he did that voice way back in the day mm. and he's become really famous since then and he's you know been in movies and shit but back mm-hmm. then he was like no, like a nobody and nobody you know alternative in the alternative comedy scene yeah, you know? with um janine garofalo or whatever yeah i mean he yeah mm-hmm. he came up and now he's doing pretty good for himself he's actually a pretty pretty good comedian too okay but, um, so he'll get work. So are you are you gonna get this collection or? Oh, I don't know. I don't probably not. <laughs> okay, okay. Is all it, right. Is, so is it remaking old ones? Hmm. Is it remaking old ones or is it all new? No, it's like a re-release. Oh, I would More check like it out. A re-release. I, I, I don't anything. know. The yeah. the era of uh, uh, platformers where you go around collecting shit. It's kind of. Yeah, outside of Mario and a, and a few exceptions, I don't, you know, most of those, they get boring very quick, you know. Mm. Like Eco the Dolphin or, or or any of those games from that era where it's side scroller, like you know, Jurassic Park. I remember playing that game. That was kind of in the same era. Uh, you know, they're fun at first, but you kind of get, you know, bored of them going back to those kind of games. If you're coll- If it's collecting, like, you know, like, Go around collecting coins. Donkey Kong Country that breaks it up with different, you know. It has big set pieces and shit, so that makes it fun. But yeah, I don't know. But yeah. Speaking of stuff getting remade, what if I were to tell you that the 2005 Need for Speed Most Wanted is actually getting a remake, which is from the one of the original voice actors of the game, and it's supposedly coming out next year. What are your guys' thoughts on the idea of Need for Speed Most Wanted 2005 getting a remake? And Chad, I want your thoughts on this too. I, I want your thoughts on this too. So... Well, you honestly, I, I, cool. yeah, I like I like Need for Speed. Um, that was the first racer I was into. Okay, so I'm down. I'm down with it. I'm down with a remake. I don't mind that at all. So I'm there. That's that's the one. And then there was Hot Pursuit after that. Mm-hmm. But those those two were really fun because we had the steering wheel. Like I had like roommates and shit. This was in like my twenties and no, shit. So I wasn't that rich, of, but um, lot of, yeah, lot I of drinking. Be, well, you, you know, you pull your money together and shit. We had a yeah. PC, but um, uh. Drink a lot of beer playing that fucking game on P- on PC with the steering wheel and the and the pedals and shit. The first hop, or the one that came out in that year, whatever you you just said, maybe it was. Yeah, it came out in like two thousand five. It was like a three sixty launch title, I believe. Maybe I'm thinking like of the one before that then. Uh, but like but say he had many drunk nights playing that game. <laughs> I did. It was fun. <laughs> yeah. The steering wheel was nice, though. I, I did like the steering wheel. That did help me uh, learn how to drive a little bit. So I do feel you on that. And that was, you know, that was the first time they gave you something outside of the driving experience because you'd have the co- the cop cars come yeah. and pull you over, so you'd have to outrun them in like a nine eleven or whatever, you know. And that's what made it at the time because this was remember like well, what, what year did a uh, GTA three come out? GTA 3 came out in 2001. Okay, well, yeah, then GTA was already kind of established, but be, but before that, Need, Need for Speed was one of those racers that uh, I, I feel it was important because graphically, I might, I mean, it was like very. Um, I thought it looked realistic. Like if you like squinted your eyes in some of those shots of the cars and stuff, and that was a cool game, man. Now, that's why I said. I'm definitely down for them. If they come back out with like a remake or you know whatever, I'm down. I'm definitely there for that. All right. So next topic. So let's talk about this whole final Halo game thing or whatever. So this is from a tweet, um, called uh, from this user called. Hold up. Hold up. Snow era, Haley era, whatever. So, yeah. So, the next Halo game will be the last Halo game if it doesn't meet expectations. The next Halo game does not have even half of the budget that Halo Infinite did. The Master Chief Collection is dead. Official end of dev cycle announcement will be made, but there it, there's no date on this. <laughs> Can you, you just said because I, I, you lost me. I'm sorry. 
Huh? So can you, you lost- reread what you said? You lost me. Okay, so eternally Halo is no longer considered flagship. This decision was made somewhere else in the past the past five months. The next Halo game will be the last Halo game if it doesn't meet expectations. <clears throat> the next Halo game does not have even half the budget that Halo Infinite did. The Master Chief Collection is dead. Official and dev cycle announcement will be made, but there is no date to this. All right, I'm back. I'm back. Uh, hey, read Iron Mike's chat. Um, lay the whole thing again. That's funny. Yeah. Oh man. Hey, Bach. What's good, brother? Glad y'all showed up. Y'all came at a good time because, bro, I was in the bathroom, stomach hurt, and I'm threw up everywhere. Uh, yeah. I just got back. I grabbed the McChicken. Oh yeah, man. Yeah, the McChicken. I heard, yeah, I heard yo, those McChicken. Like, what the fuck? Bro, those McChickens go down, bro. <laughs> damn right they go down. They Yo. go down into that damn toilet. Nah, that's not what got me throwing up, though, but... Colon cancer. Oh, man, bro. Oh, good. Dude. I'm glad y'all showed up, bro. I was down bad. I done threw all up in the bathroom, bro. Oh, man. Woo, man. Said he had a long night last night. God damn, bro. Oh, bro, it was bad. It was that champagne popping for the ABK deal. Oh, shout out to Franco. I see he in there talking junk. Iron Mike. I see you, Ish. King Videli was good. Oh man, the brothers is here. That's what I'm talking about. All right, about all right. Halo, but about Halo, um, it might be it might be time to put it on a high uh, just a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Still put out like the other Halo, the um, what's the RTS? Halo Wars oh, no. or yeah, whatever, keep, well, whatever that is. Halo Here's Wars. What you, do. you retired the regular Halo series for a while. You still put, can put that out. But all the shit you usually put out with with Halo, like novels and the show continues. Blah blah blah. And you start putting them into like Call of Duty, if you you know shit like that, getting Master Chief's fucking name. Yeah, like get that. yeah, facts, bug. I like that. Put get up, put Chief put like in there wrestling. in one of those cards yeah. or something. Yeah, put him in there. Get him over again, and then his. Oh, look at look at what Iron Mike said. Yeah, put on high. It's like I'm trying in the last of us. Oh man. Well, the, <laughs> well, the difference with that is uh, oh, Iron Mike man. is, and like like Buck said, like sometimes. You know, they, go they you got to go away for a while. Like, it's no different in wrestling. I mean, I know Buck watched a little bit of wrestling. Care. Yeah, you got to go away sometimes for people to miss you. If you're going to come back, look, if, if Halo was going to get a rebirth here with freaking id software and with all that stuff you just got with ABK, if you can't make a decent Halo game with those devs, may shame on you. So I think, I think you could, you should and put it on high. Shout out to Ty Kid. I see you, brother. They could start building them up with like like you know uh, Master Chief shit in uh, if you know in Call of Duty and shit, you know shit like that. Just keep them keep his name alive, but then you know you build them back up like you know because you're not going to get that budget right away. There's not that it's too much of a risk at this moment to do another big two hundred million dollar whatever. You know yeah know the- yeah and and I think Halo you can probably turn like a Halo game into like a hybrid. You know, you got you got you already own the shooters now. All right, you got caught. You know, maybe you turned it into like a a shooter slash action event. We seen those kind of games work, like with Chronicles of Riddick back in the day. Those games they they kind of work. You know, you have Chief in first person, or what? I wouldn't put him in third person. I mean, that's, yeah, that's. I guess the Call of Duty thing doesn't make sense because he's sci-fi. I guess that's kind of stupid. Well, you can. Well, even the Godzilla and the rest of those fuckers in there, but you know that yeah, they'll look like Master Chef. You know, running around, I guess. But, you know, I, I like that. You're right. I think he just needs to go away. Look, once they bought Bethesda, I think Elder Scrolls became the, the flagship for the fucking Xbox anyway. I mean, that's just, it you know. It has to be that long either. No, that's true. That's like true. Two, two to three years is just like, you know. <clears throat> Listen, the flagship changes. Like, Sony's flagship was, who uh, this guy, um, you know, the, the wolf or fox, whatever he is, Crash. Crash Bandicoot was like their dude. And he's not anymore. So you know, now I've been, I I was fighting with Vaughn and him, and he was telling me who's like the 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 mascot or the person, the face of PlayStation. I thought it was Aloy. They're telling me it's Kratos, but I think Aloy has a brighter future than than Kratos. Kratos is on his way out. Hell, Atreus is gonna get more shine than him going forward. You know, I thought that um, you know, that Aloy was the face of uh, PlayStation. But I digress. One of them, at least. <laughs> All right, Mike says maybe release the next one with campaign only. Hmm. Take away multiplayer at the last minute before release. I hey, thought they was only supporting Halo Infinite for some years, for like the next. Well, that's why years. it was called Infinite. Yeah, they were they're supposed to support it. But I mean, look, those plans can 
can change. I mean, look, they got a battle royale, I believe, that's still coming out. I mean, it was in development. I don't see how you just cancel that battle royale. I, I, I mean, you get unpaid the guys to come work on it. You, you're better off, you know, finishing with that and seeing what goes through. Herb, continue. I want to thank the millions of gamers around the world who have included me as a part of their lives. And also, thanks to Xbox team members for trusting me to have a direct dialogue with our customers. The future is bright for Xbox and as a gamer. And I am excited to see the evolution. Following today's announcement, various prominent industry figures including Blizzard's Mike Yabara and the the looming industry president Jeff Keighley Keighley, paid tribute to Herb's contribution contribution, whatever. Contribution. Uh, Contribution. It's okay, brother. (laughs) To to Xbox. uh, Thanks, Larry, for everything you have done to make Xbox what it is today. Yabara shared in a tweet, incredible impact, always a positive attitude, and a pleasure to work with. So, how do you guys feel about, um, you know, Major Nelson leaving Xbox? I who in the blue? What did he do at Xbox? Yeah. He wore he wore <laughs> white gloves. Wore Bro, white gloves. I, I I I used to see his name pop up when I got the OG Xbox. They used to be like, yeah, Major Nelson, and I thought it was like a character or something. What the hell did he do? He wore white gloves. He went around promoting it. I met him uh, before the Xbox One came out. I was telling Levon that he went around like state to state promoting it, letting people play games early and stuff. That's what that's what I know him for. Yeah, I, I don't. I haven't heard of that dude. Like I said, since the OG Xbox, when like, uh, bro, what what did he do? Did he he didn't develop I, games? He was, of, he was one of those guys. Like like remember Philip Howard back in the day for Nintendo. They would go around. I think. I think maybe. I think Nelson, he was public or PR. Yeah, mm-hmm. he was. He's kind of yeah. like a throwback to those days when they still had these guys that would go out with a you know bow tie on and have to sell this this you know new electronics. Oh, suit. shout out to Iron Mike. He said he was like public relations. Okay, but doesn't Phil kind of do that shit? Like you don't yeah, need two fills. Yeah, you don't need it. It, <laughs> yeah. It becomes redundant. Yeah. Now, nah, Larry Hurt. Nah, <clears throat> uh, he actually was out there. Like he, uh, he was going out there meeting the people and now, stuff now, like that. Now let me. Now, w- now, what do you guys? What do you guys think, Buck and Ty and and Deuce Deuce? Do you think Major Nelson was like let go because you really don't need him anymore? Um, Maybe they just that, made him make it like point, seem like he, he resigned. Like, you know, he might be from the hardware era of the, the business. If you know. Yeah, I, I he old man. I need, yeah, man. I, I, what the hell did he do? Like, yeah, exactly. What in the blue? Like, bro, Major Nelson, like, bro. I honestly used you don't to remember think. Remember Major Nelson from the no, Xbox One? I, I, yeah, I, I do. Him. I remember so seeing the name, but what did he do? Like, he bro, he, he wasn't he wasn't making games. You know, well, he, did, he did like PR stuff. Yeah, well, he bought yeah, yeah. Phil on his shows once in a while, and obviously he gave him the, the script um, to the questions. It's like Joe interview. Like, do, were you watching YouTube back in them days, I, I, the I, Xbox I, One days? Yeah, I was. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Did you, do you know who Angry Joe is? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, he did like an interview with them too. I knew Angry Joe better than Ma- Major Nelson was just a name. Yeah. I, I didn't really see him until nah, like two years with, ago. He played with that. He was playing with the community too. He'd be inviting people to play games with him and stuff. He did a lot of you stuff. You know what? He used to send you messages across Xbox Live. I remember that. I used to be like, the next Major Nelson report, ba 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 ba. And but we I never saw him like until like YouTube recently. I didn't know what he looked like. And we already have a guy doing that in Phil Spencer. So I yeah, I think that dude was like uh, let go. Well, they Phil just Spencer's more busy with other shit. And I, I think he was more you know, he was the guy that would be at E three that would talk to all the, you know, the uh yeah. all the uh you know, content creators and now listen shit directly. He might he might not be the Phil, first Phil, one to go though. Yeah, Phil isn't mm. doing 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 that all the time. No, exactly, bro. Yeah, they so they just time. bought on like what fifteen thousand employees. That's bro. What I said he's not going to be the yeah, first one to go. So bro, bro. bro. If somebody takes takes his job though, that I I, I don't think I don't think they. Well, you can't use Kodak in that in that role. That's for sure. Yeah. <laughs> no, he's leaving the company, right? 
Allegedly. I don't think you can let Kodak go. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't think you can. Not yet. Here's my prediction. He's going to be halfway out because they want him out of the office. Yes. He's going to set up shop down in Hollywood, and he's going to be the guy. He's going to be like an overseer. I think he'll be like an overseer. He's these. You know, AB, all these uh, Blizzard Activision properties. Mostly, especially mobile. You can't just drop a guy who has, like, the biggest well, mobile, which you're saying the reason why you bought the company. Well, no, he still has to be there, though. I'm talking about movies and, and television series and shit. I think he wants to be that guy out there in Hollywood, which kind of fits his kind of creepy nature. He's, he wants to be like a... <laughs> yeah, you're right. Franco's he right. Looks like, he looks like he could fucking be a fucking... He's like, like a James Bond villain. Like yeah. uh, Franco said, he was I, always I, the I, face I, of Xbox at E3. Well, E3 was a thing. Yeah, okay, that's where I like kind of. Yeah, he's right. That's kind of where I do remember seeing Major Nelson was like there in E3. I can't, but like again, like I'm with Deuce Deuce here, bro. I, I think, and I mean, you guys can piggyback that if you want. I, I think that he was let go. I think it's too many mouths to feed now. They already right. laid off a bunch of guys. Yeah, but bro, he was kind of old though. Yeah, he but 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 old. guys, when you when you merge Phil companies, Spencer. think about this, Phil Spencer. When you merge companies, okay, you had accountant for this company and accountant for the other company. You don't need two accountants. Like, somebody's got to go. Like, you're going to be like, hey, listen, uh, we're going to give you a nice little severance package, yada, yada, yada. I mean, that's just, that's kind of how it is, bro. You're going to have, like, Microsoft is probably going to have one accountant take watch, watch over all of that stuff. You know yeah, why? guys, guys, how old is Phil Spencer? How old is Phil? He's, Phil oh, he's got to like be 50s? in his yeah, in his fifties. I would think he's in his fifties. Yeah, okay. yeah. I think he's like. In the, hey, listen. Here's one good thing, and I'm not just saying that because I'm getting older, bro. Fifty is like the new thirty, bro. Like people live to be. Look, if you looked at Samuel L. Jackson, and I was getting nervous too because he's getting up there in age. I was like, damn, he won't have many much time to play. Uh, yeah, he's seventy four years old, bro. What? Look at Harrison Ford. He's in his eighties. Look, look at Clint Eastwood. Okay. Yeah, but he's yeah, yeah, fifty five. Yeah, but Clint Clint's on his way out. They haven't heard from him in the public in like three years. So Clint Clint's getting mm-hmm. old. But I'm just saying, like a lot of time, bro. The way that medicine is nowadays and stuff, people live a hell of a lot longer, bro. Yeah, you got money. You got money. You gonna live? Yeah. Uh, Larry Herb, sixty five. Yeah, it's time for him to go. I told you he was old. Man, oh man, oh man, bro. Let Plus me tell you. Plus, half extraterrestrial lizards, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like some people are old that you don't really like, like, like Little Richard, right? When Little Richard was going around, he used to still wear the wig and the makeup and stuff. He was on TV. Oh, and then one day I just saw him without the wig, without the makeup. He looked like he was 90, and then like he died like two weeks later. Like, I was like, yo, that's crazy. Like, he ran man. out of money. Yeah. He couldn't afford that, that shot no more. Oh, man. Hey, man. Thanks for correcting me, Ricky. Thank you. I, I didn't do it on purpose, but uh No hmm. no no I was thank you. All right, no problem, brother. Wait, I so, see I see my boy Thriller Ali's in the chat. Mm. What's good, Thriller? You know what it is? Thriller Thriller got it. he got that Michael Jackson theme music when he come through. Oh uh, yeah, and uh, Larry Herb used to give out like free stuff too. He used to give people free games and stuff too. I don't know if y'all had them friends on Xbox or not, but he gave out free codes, he gave out like like ten dollar like uh Microsoft uh cars and stuff like that. Yeah, I mean look, if you wanna say that he you know what? <clears throat> Does Sony doesn't have a guy like that, right? That go out and even Nintendo doesn't either. Well if they do, he doesn't speak English. Yeah, they do. They got Mar- they got Marlon Gaiman. Uh, right 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 wait, right wait, did you say they got Marlon Gaiman? Oh, yeah, they got him. <laughs> uh, wasn't that guy now that's for, now listen everybody out yeah. he's a buffoon man that guy bro a buffoon. yeah he set us back he, about 10 years here's the funny thing with marlon and all the rest of those guys this whole abk thing it's the fallout of it that was funny you had dudes banging on debt that was a cheap ass desk by the way he hit the desk <laughs> and every, that, like, that was that was like whoa, bro that whoa, thing was made out of paper mache yo that whole thing jumped up when he ta- you hit my desk like that it ain't gonna bounce i was like yeah buddy that little ass apartment of his but the funny thing is watching the fallout from like people taking this like serious like like this is real life guys like salty this gamer delete this twitter and then you got guys talking about they're gonna boycott all the active just like come on man ain't nobody uh, boy could, yeah, yeah could, nobody listen if you were a gamer you're a gamer it doesn't matter what platform you play aspect on. of some of that twitter shit yeah you, uh, mm. you see it on both sides because so the way that people are acting on on the xbox side 
Well, here, here's what I say though, Buck. They're 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 just as cringe. To, to be fair, Buck, all I of it, all of it is. You know. I didn't see Xbox guys deleting their Twitter when things were looking bad when the CMA blocked the deal. They was taking yeah. the smoke, but the PlayStation yeah. guys, they don't. They man, they They've just been using their little fake uh, little armies and shit to harass people and stuff too. So there's there's all that. Fucking Did you see people. that dumbass PlayStation dude threaten like the judge Corley like uh, Twitter? Talking about yeah, he, sucks, yeah, it talking about he was gonna send the um the the cartel after or something stupid. Yeah. I was like, yo, it's this always, dude is dumb. Yeah. Like, bro, it's video games. You talking about sending somebody after? I'm surprised. Listen, if he's not arrested by now, he better arrested two days ago. Like, you can't be threatening no damn judge on Twitter. They take that very seriously. Yeah, yeah that's uh, kids take, no, well, these these kids that are into this into video games. They just you know they they take it serious too. You know. Yeah, I mean, even some of these old farts that we have. I'm an old fart myself, but hey, it is what it is. But now, yeah. Buck, now that you're here, you know, I was in the shitter thrown up and everything. Um, how do you feel about the deal going through now or look like it's just done with Buck? Is it like a sigh of relief? Like, God, we don't have to talk about this shit anymore. Uh, it should be. Uh, yeah, like I just, you know, get it out of the way. I mean, sure, rip the bandit. I mean, just do it. Just fucking. Now, know, where do I said, from the, I said from the beginning, my my original instinct was of course it's gonna fucking go through their goddamn trillion dollar company look at the country where it's not the same as it was just t- fucking 10 years ago 20 years ago you know these cor- mm-hmm. the corporations yeah. like there's barely any pushback and any like win that she could get that's that's fine and I'm, i i support all that you know but, but it's I funny think, i never thought even any of it would work and that too, but I think we have to get off the notion that, all right, she was wasting American dollars um, because yeah, she was losing, yeah, that, but it that, doesn't it doesn't cost money for the to, to file something in it's court. A penny, it's nothing. Yeah, she, yeah, we gotta like, yeah, let's let's keep that yeah. a bean. Like I, I get she's it. Not goddamn Nancy Pelosi over there. Okay, she's, no, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, so I think I she's think we need to herself get. off of you know everybody. She, it's not you know what she's a you know. That's but not I will say this. I think everybody that was following the whole acquisition, it did make us a little more knowledgeable on law, the regulatory law, and and all that kind of stuff. I mean, hell, Post Up became a lawyer overnight. I mean, so you know, it it does work out where overall it's it's hurt us though. Um, I, 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 some I, people's I, YouTube careers benefited from this. It did from doing this ABK, you know, news absolutely stuff. So uh, big facts, Levon, because I would have never tuned in to like a whole law. Or one of those guys that was talking about it, or um, who's the other guy that was a uh, false patents? Like I would have never followed yeah, a dude was, like uh, that. Destin from um, IGN. Oh God, the hell with them. So now listen here, me and King Thrash, we had our odds, and I think he's a fraud. But I'm so glad he called that Destin dude out. Like, bro, come on, you can't be sitting he here. Like, does he doesn't play anything? Anymore. Yes, like, come on, man, you can't be <laughs> standing on the hill like you're getting like. Like, post up and tell you, like, look, man, I'll game when I can game. But Destin make it seem like he go to sleep with his Xbox controller under his pillow. And that's why he got called out. That's why he did. Now, King Thrash fucked with the wrong guy trying to deal with gas. Gas gave him the smoke. That's where he fucked up. He was like, yo, I, I'm 16 hours in on Diablo and this and that or whatever. So, yeah, that's where he messed up at there. But, man, it, it it's so many people, like Levon said, it, it, it turned their YouTube careers around. Made them a household name because they come talking about the ABK deal all the time. But the funny, where do we go from here, though? That's where do- exactly what <laughs> I was going to get to. Yes. Right what are these YouTubers going to do? What yes. is Post Up going to do? What is the state of gaming going to do now? Well, That's we should ask up. my cousin where the state of game is going because he's on the panel. Noah, yes. why, where are you guys going? Like, uh, the ABK's done. I know Noah loves it because he likes a bargain. He loves his Game Pass. We need that Game Pass friends and family, though. Like, you know, don't don't tell me about acquisitions if you're not going to put that through because I'm tired of paying $15 for my kids. My my Game Pass Ultimate, I'm paid up until, like, 2025. I'm good. But as far as my sons wanting to play, I got to pay for them monthly. I was, I, well, But the, you can't even do that old trick with the Xbox Gold stuff no more. Can't do that no more. So, oh, damn. No, nah, you can't. Yeah, they yeah they, yeah they cut that out, bro. You can't do that no more. So Noah, now that you're here, and Levon had a good question. He said, "Now, what's the state of game? And like, where is the state of game? And where's this show? You know, where do we focus our gaming attention now? Because during talking this ABK stuff, 
we ain't really been talking too much about games because I believe both companies was holding back, not wanting to show their hands. Because hand. of this whole thing yes. going on, yeah, right? Yeah, to try to look weak, saying, well, we don't really have exclusives. But that didn't work. No, so where do we go from here, Noah, in the gaming community, especially on my side, the Xbox community, even PlayStation? Where, where do you think we go from well, here? Well, State of Gaming, we are an Xbox-centric channel. I mean, we cover the news from all uh, platforms, except for the Switch. I don't think any of us play the Switch, but uh, mm-hmm. <laughs> well, you know, I'm, uh, Xbox-centric, so where's Xbox news? We're there. But as we all know, this, this is the first of many when it comes to... It's not even the first. Let me rephrase that. This is one of many when it comes to acquisitions. We know more coming. I don't think they'll be as big as Activision. No, but, can't be. Can't be. Well, actually, that's be. not true. That's not true, and I'll tell you why. Because Tencent just bought somebody. Remember, as much as Tencent grows, then Microsoft and Sony can grow because they're the top three. So that's how it goes. So the more that number one buys, the more number two and three can buy. So that that's kind of how the balance is done there. All right, let me let me bring this up. Uh, Merck kind of brought it up. People are saying Microsoft should get Sega. Well, why, why is that? Why, why do people think Microsoft should get Sega? I'll tell you why. I believe one of your topics was old games, preservation of games, or yes. something like that. That's yeah, yeah. probably why. Sega would be a good get for their mobile division, creating the old game. Imagine putting like the old crazy taxis, Toe Jam and Earls, Alter Beast. All that old stuff inside a Game Pass where you can play it all over again. I don't. I mean, you might make new iterations of that. I mean, I don't. I wouldn't agree putting like a hundred million dollars into one of those IPs. You'd be interested in a new Victor Man or Golden Axe. Well, I mean, probably, but not on the scale of like a um, a Last of Us or a, or a, a Horizon Forbidden West. Not on like that big of a it scale. Be like the last. Uh, well, not every game has to be a Last of Us. Well, I'm just saying, like, don't put that kind of money into it. Like, the budget has to be. Those games work on a double A budget. I don't think you want to make those AAA games. I think AAA games are now like shooting games as a service, uh, story-driven narrative. Those kind of games are your AAA games. Nobody's going to take a risk to make a AAA side-scrolling freaking Golden Axe or something, which probably wouldn't be that. Here's a good point from uh, Thrill Ali. Sega worked closely with Microsoft on the OG Xbox. Xbox. Yeah, 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 all those, those Dreamcast devs helped make the Xbox once the Dreamcast went out of business. You can remember the controller, all of that stuff was very similar. A lot of people were saying that was the Dreamcast too, the Xbox. Yeah, the broadband yeah. connection for the um Pretty for the much internet. Actually, yeah, I would say I would agree. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, look, I, and I was and I was telling guys a couple shows ago that this ain't really a console war compared to what we used to have in the nineties. I know a lot of you guys are younger than me, Bucks about my age. But bro, know, you yeah, you bro, you were born in the two thousands, bro. But there was a time that I walked into a store. There was a Super Nintendo, a Sega Genesis, or a Sega Saturn, a 3DO, uh, uh, some form of Nintendo, uh, a Turbo Graphic, an Atari Jaguar. Those are the real console wars. You only got three right now. You know the big boys. You know they, this is this is this is lunch meat compared to what we used to have. Like this is this is nothing, bro. Like that's why everybody be like, oh, console war, and I was like, bro. There ain't no such thing as a war when it's only three sides. It, it don't work. And Ty has got Ty done got his phone in his pocket or something. Oh, my bad. Yeah, what's going on over there? But you know, now Noah, I don't. I know you in your, your mid to late thirties. Do you remember all of those consoles being on the shelf when you walked into one of those toy stores? I do. Yeah, yeah. We yeah. had more, we had more stores back then. Yeah, yeah. We had games, mm-hmm. uh, Best Buy, Walmart, like Circuit Kmart. City, Kmart, yep. Yeah. A lot of places. Some of the Wiz, we had the Wiz, yeah. bro. We had some stores, but those were the real console wars back then, bro. Like it was, bro. Everybody, you had to make a choice, and not nobody really wanted to just play Bonk's Adventure. So you know, the Turbo Graphic took a L because that's all they yeah, really. Had. You took me back with nobody beats the Wiz, though. Yeah, bro. Man. That was the joint right there, bro. Bro, we used to have this joint up here called Crazy Eddie. He used to be like, my prices are insane. And then he went to jail because he was selling this stuff for too cheap. They, uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, like you could, you have, a, um, by law, a, what you're supposed to sell something at. And he was going under that price, and he ended up getting in trouble. And he, yeah, Woolworths, I heard of them. I heard of them. No, no, oh, yeah. a, oh, APC, AP's from my hood. AP, shout out to AP the Shooter. 
AP says Sears, Caldors, Kmart. Um, what's the hold on? Don't forget um, what's the name? Child World AP, and don't forget Bradley's. That's where we used to be able to get our um our our games and shit too. Bradley's, Caldor, you listen to Caldor up there. I yeah, there was like, a place called Egghead back in the day that was for like PC shit and games. Yeah, no, like a Mac, they had like a catalog. I remember Walden Books was turned to Walden Software. You can buy like consoles there too, because that's where my mother got my 3DO from for Christmas. They had 3DO. They also had another um another console called the CDI. Which was like an interactive like CD, and then the thing with CDI, and it was it, it was yeah Philips yes, and it was much like how PlayStation was with the DVD. Like there was a disc, there played music because see, not all the, the the CD players that came out played music. Like I don't think the Sega Saturn played music CDs, but the 3DO did, the CDI did. The did. Fa- those all failed because they didn't have good games. No, they didn't, and, and we were just talking about wait, Gex wait, before wait, I had the bubble wait, wait. guts. That's not that's not why they failed them. Yeah, he's not nah, Buck's right. They didn't have well, exclusive like a, games. Like a CDI and shit. Yeah, CDI like, had like Dragon's Lair, which you could have got on 3DO. There was a couple, they, but things. but they weren't available everywhere either. You can't just walk in the store and buy those those consoles. Yeah. Well, the CDI, those see the CDI and the 3DOs, those were like five hundred and up. They were more expensive than the um the yeah, Saturn. Was, and, uh, yeah, they it's were more than just, it's more than. But well, we got to be real, bro. It's more than just because they didn't have good games. It, it, that's uh, not- Iron Mike, Iron Mike, they didn't. Um, I don't think the CDI. I think the CDI played music CDs and the Sega CD. I don't think the Sega Saturn played music. I mean, look, I can go put a CD in now and try it, but yeah, you're right. The, the Sega CD did play. Um. Music CDs. And Thrill Ali says, I bought my first OG Xbox from Blockbuster Video. I remember that. Remember Blockbuster had almost like a um a rent to own program where if you gave them like a two hundred dollar deposit on a, a system, you can do like a rent to own it. It might have been less than it might have been a hundred bucks. If you gave them a hundred dollars, you can pay like ten dollars a week. It was like some rent center shit. And it was letting you um own the console. That's when people were pushing the console and shit like heavy. Like, real heavy. Like, back in the day, man, if you owned, like, a, a used game store, like, yo, you had money hand over fist because everybody would buy a game, didn't like it, wanted to trade it in, and get something else. Like, that's when used games was the shit. But now, it's a little different now with digital, so it's kind of hard to do that kind of shit. AP says... No, game, stop ruining it. Tell the truth. Hey, game, stop ruining it. Well, what ruined it is downloadable content. Like, when you was able to, to download a game... um. Instead of buying it physical, that's what ruined it. That's because the GameStop, because GameStop was only giving you seven dollars for. for well, $60 well, game. remember they tried to check GameStop and they had it, that you had to sign up for like a, a ten dollar code that the publisher would get in order to play the game. You couldn't just put the disc in, and they were doing that, and that was like weird, and and it, it, that was that lasted for like six months, I think. AP says a uh, new Transformer movie. Had the main guy playing the Nintendo, like, 94. Bro, yeah, I remember that. And he said, he said I stole my games from Blockbuster. Yeah, yo, listen, Hollywood, yo, I remember Hollywood video. Oh, man. Yo, listen, bro, so many things are, like, gone that we all used to enjoy. Rather, you 80s baby, a 90s baby, you 2000 motherfuckers. You guys done changed everything. You guys are all mm-hmm. digital fucking iPhone a having. A lot of these... Mm, places they died because they didn't uh they didn't evolve bro no they didn't but see you know ev- evolution occurs I remember going to hollywood video renting some gamecube yeah games. i do remember yeah that. but they were expensive hollywood video they were more expensive than blockbuster than tommy k's they, they wanted more money ahead of time and they ran your license, and if you was one of those motherfuckers that was crazy, bro, they could take a deposit from you. They're like, oh, we're going to need a deposit because you look like you're a crook or something. I don't know what they did. Well, they did the license, and, and they, they took your name and shit. But I do. I mean, look, certain things. Look, everything changes. Not always for the better. We can all get nostalgic here and say we miss our malls. We miss midnight releases. All of that stuff, they don't exist anymore. And I think that sucks big time. You know, I love those Midnight Gears of Wars releases. I used to watch my brother go for the Call of Duties. Nintendo never really had much Midnight release. They used to release their stuff on like a Sunday morning or something. I used to see like, you know, weirdos out there on Sunday morning, the Nintendo stuff. But other than that, when it came to like PlayStation and Xbox and... It was always like Tuesday or something. Yeah, yeah Tuesday. Yes, Tuesday game. was the release day. Yeah, so Midnight, because I remember I... Mm-hmm. I 
I remember I wouldn't take Tuesday off because I would take Wednesday off because I was getting it Tuesday at, at midnight. So yeah. You know, Iron Mike said, "Nah, f the midnight release." S. He said, "I got my ass preloaded, pre, okay, pre, pre downloaded I mean, now." I mean, yeah, I mean, hey, listen, but I get that, Mike. That's the cool. That that's the advantage you have now. That's the COVID effect. That's the that's the publisher. I'm gonna get all my money. COVID got us comfortable purchasing digital stuff. Absolutely, and getting, that that getting used to the internet. Hundred percent, hundred, and I guarantee yeah. you. The digital game sales went through the roof once COVID hit because now you because you remember when Best Buy was opening up, they was only letting three people in the store. And nobody want to go through that shit. You just be like, yo, you know what? Yeah, I remember I'll just that. down. I'll just yeah. download it. You know, that's all hell. And then when they told you you can pre-download it, whether you bought it or not, like I don't know about you, but on Xbox, even if you don't own the game, you can pre-download it and pay later. Uh. Yeah, you can. Like you can just preload like the game without paying for it. And then you, and then when you try to click on it, it'd be like, "Hey, look, you don't own this game," and it'll revert you to the store. Oh uh, okay. yeah. yeah, oh yeah, yeah, you can do that now. Mm-hmm. Uh, Av said, "Covid effed s up though." He said, "Look at uh what Bob Iger said. The streaming market has too much content, so they're losing money." Yeah, they said they were going to pull back on Star Wars. This is for uh, the Watchtower. They're, um, Disney is now going to pull back content. Uh, Star Wars and the MCU. They're not gonna have as much um movies or as much um What's up, Mellow Little Rodney son? Oh Mellow's little Mello, Rodney son. What's good, Rodney brother? What's up? Yeah, we're on a we're on a different time. I don't know if this time slot works for you guys. I don't mind it. I don't have to rush. You know, it's cool. You know, if, if we have this time slot instead of um because I can go to take the kids to Six Flags because the water park closes at six. I don't I don't mind it personally. Yeah, I don't I don't I don't mind this time slot at all. But you know, it's all good. Lavon, where's that ship? All heading? right, so let's steer the ship to some more retro stuff. So study finds around eighty seven percent of games are unplayable without resorting to piracy or you know basically going to the pirate bay or going to archive doc or to download that old pc game or download that uh old game from such and such console or whatever so yeah that that's something that's that's interesting um well you're the king Ace... of the emulator hmm what do you th- oh that's right i forgot buck was still in here yes he well, is i mean i was there from the beginning i i yeah, I've been fucking with emulators since. So, Buck, who? Where is the best? We have Captain Buck here for Buck Johnson. Buck, what is the best emulator to get for us to for our gaming needs? Oh well, I mean, the first thing I think of is the SNES uh, 9X, which Levon I know is familiar with. That's the, the one of the best Super Nintendo ones. SS SNES SNES 9X. Yeah, it is. Uh, I have a, a personal favorites with like Sega Genesis, but I what, what was the name of that one? I heard and that I had, uh, Iron Mike was trying out that Emu deck though. Yeah. How did that work out I for did, you, Iron I Mike? Definitely, I definitely heard about that. Now, aren't these? Now, correct me if I'm wrong. Are these like the emulating places that Nintendo's trying to like shut down because a lot of their games are on there? Well, where uh, you can get the ROMs. Okay. That's what I think they're trying to shut down. Well, I bought a ROM for my Super Nintendo. It's got like a thousand games on there. Problem was is, it one of them, was it one of them cartridges? Yes, it's a cartridge ROM for okay. the Super Nintendo. It's got, listen, it, they play pretty good. I am having an issue saving on them. There is an issue there. It doesn't save very well. And the Super, so, the Super Scope 6 games are almost unplayable. And I'm, and I'm not playing it on the LCD TV. I was playing it on a tube TV that I got in my um, garage. And the Super Scope Six games are hard to play. And so was um, some of those. Uh, the uh, Genesis One Two, RoboCop, and the Terminator. The best um, uh, one that I have is for the the eight bit NES. That's got like every game that was ever out on the NES. It's got Friday the Thirteenth, Nightmare on Elm Street, the Ghostbusters. It's got all of them up there. That ROM. It's, it's, it's slick, too. But the problem is, it'll get stuck a lot like the, the old NES cartridges. It'll freeze on you. So that sucks. But uh, finish, Levon, on this whole All emulation right, right, thing um, 87% of classic video games released in the United States are critically endangered, claims the study. Just 13% of 
of video game history is being represented in the current marketplace. In fact, there's no period of video game history defined in this study, even crack 20% representation. Their methodology, which you can read the full breakdown here, used a randomized sample of 1500 video games released before 2010, which is roughly the year when digital game distribution started to take off. When did you guys start it, you know, doing digital downloads and stuff like that? I'm, I'm curious. But well, uh, for me, they also... it was the Xbox One is when I started getting the uh, digital downloads. It was at the end of the 360. Mm. Yeah, oh, you know what? I forgot about that. 360 was the first for DLC. But as far as downloading a whole game... It was Xbox One for me. Yeah, there was like freeware and shareware in the early days of like computer games. Yeah. That's probably what it, you know, you'd go to, uh, was it freeware.com? I forget the, the main one. Oh, look at, look at Buck. Buck knows all the fucking well, there places. Were, there were like demos too, and you know, the demo era. Did, do like you the go to the archive? Have you been to archive.org? Oh, yeah. Uh, that's, okay. uh, now, will this thing crash my PC if I try to download this shit? He found it. I don't want to be fucking up my PC playing Rick, Rick this. Rick uh, collects the old films and stuff, and uh, Archives Arc, Arc is amazing. But. Now, the funny thing is that you guys say this about the... A lot of these games I have already. I mean, original. I got a few freaking, um, uh, you know, cart, uh, what's the names, for the system that I have. But I, my old library, the old physical library, God, it's huge. I have a lot of that stuff. So I don't really miss out on the old games. But I would like to play them in one place. That's what I would like. I don't. I think, as far as the archiving games and preservation and stuff, I think we got it covered from now on, because it was, people know about it now, and there are people willing to take that on. Like I was, I saw that video from, um, what's his name? The uh, completionist. Jared. Yeah, the completionist. You know mm -hmm. him. What, what was it? The not the Switch. It was the Wii U. He bought like every Wii U and 3DS game yeah. in the eShop. So, so you see, like now we have people out there that are passionate enough about video games that are going to do that. We yeah, only a Nintendo that. guy would do that, though. Yeah, <laughs> like during the Nintendo era and Sega Genesis era, we didn't have people that were like, "We got to preserve Pong." You know what I mean? Oh and hell no! Now we have that. Or so Donkey Kong. Like, yeah, whatever they're, they're trying to, you know. So oh, there's sure. stuff that's going to be missing the time, and then you know, there's shareware and fucking bloatware and all this other shit that but it is what it is it's got you know people want to preserve right. it shout out to thrill ali he says the writer's strike is going to delay a bunch of movies games and tv shows yeah deadpool um three stopped um filming actually <laughs> they're not done that. filming that yet no they're not oh my god well, my backlog for uh Hollywood mm. entertainment is so back is just like yeah I'm it's me too so I'm starting to enjoy the I'll Superman and Lois so I mean I'll have stuff I'll to watch <laughs> hey look you're talking to a guy that has all that Peacock and all those streaming services I'll figure a matter of fact Samsung sent me a tablet in the mail they're gonna pay me in Samsung money to hook this stuff up to my TV and they want to know what I watch which I'm cool with so you know and, and it, the funny thing is they want you to watch a lot of live TV, I guess, because live TV is, you know, going the way of the physical game. It's uh, it's going away. Like a lot of people, like I haven't watched a live wrestling show unless it's like a pay per view. Like that's kind of where we're at now. Where if I'm watching SmackDown or Raw, I watch it through, you know, DVR on Xfinity. Yeah, so it's something to think about too. Like, bro, everything's changed. Like digital is just, bro, it's crazy how like. All of this stuff. I remember where I had to run to get home on Monday nights for eight o'clock because I wanted to see Nitro or Raw. Yeah, you had to tape one. Yeah, yeah, you had to tape one and watch one. Now, which one you're gonna watch? Yeah, yeah. Remember that? Now, Buck, hell, I can just DVR both of them at the same time. Well, they don't have two wrestling shows at once, but now you can just DVR them, bro. I, I, I can catch up, fast forward through the junk, and bro, that, that, there, that. Watch it. Now that hurts the advertisers because they pay money. That hurts them because when now, because even what they have on Xfinity is they have a option to where you can skip past the commercials if you um if you DVR it, you press fast forward and it'll, it'll skip over the commercials and bring you back to the actual show. So that's like that's a unique thing. Like I remember they had really, some like the show's like twenty two minutes. Yep, yep, exactly. They they'll they'll take all the commercials out or fast. Remember they had like what was that TiVo where you can do that shit? I remember that. Merck, Merck said digital is the way. Hey, look, we got no choice. 
Remember, they're one of the reasons why digital is the way, Merck. It's not just because you know it's more convenient for space. This the, the publishers make sure that they get their money that way. You know, that too, and they also can have control over the product. You know, they can take it away from absolutely. Us yep, they can take it away. Yeah. Let's get laid on. Look at this boy born in the two thousands, schooling people. Ty Kid says they Superman also, and Lois look, is fire. The last season episode is better than Batman. Yeah. Hey, Ty Kid, don't spoil it. I just got into the Superman and Lois. That's why, Ty Kid, you need to be coming here on Sundays to the Watchtower when we talk about that stuff. So, right where, you, where you watch that at? Because I want to watch it's it. It's on Max. It's on, it's on Max right now. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I like it. I like it. Now, listen, mm -hmm. hey, uh, some, it's some things I can't relate to, like my kids disrespecting me and walking out, man. Shit, you get a clothesline. <laughs> fuck with me. Let me tell you some shit. I'm a motherfucker. Especially if I'm Superman, I will eye beam your damn legs or something and fuck you all up. You ain't going to be disrespecting well, me. Remember, you can't. Who can? Okay. You can't hit your kid. You, you can't hit your kid. Ty, I'll be effing Superman. Listen, Who going to stop me? Yeah, and when your kid died, then what? My kid can't die. I'll just you, I'll turn the earth backwards. Like, you can put a tracker on them, huh? Yeah. Oh man, listen. Yeah, he's listening to conversations. Like, yo, that's a cool ass show, bro. Like, I I thought Smallville was like the I best Superman you. adaptation. I told you, my guy. Yo, I but that, that shit is cool as hell. I mean, like, I feel like I look forward to watching it and shit. You know, but it also brings me sadness, Deuce Deuce, because I look at this and I don't have a good Superman game to play. I just get to play Injustice and beat up the computer. You know, I get it, but Superman is like one of those hard people pause to to make a video game after. To be honest with you, man, I mean he's gonna sit and fight superhuman, you know, beings unless you like strip down his power to like next to nothing, I, and then he wouldn't be Superman. So, yeah, I mean, how do you make a good Superman game at this? Yeah, point? he'd be like Sony without that ten year card deal. Hey, yeah, buddy. Man. Speaking of that, you put, you put him in situation. that is crazy. Like, yo, after all of the bickering and the fighting and the, you know, you're gonna destroy PlayStation and and this and that. And that Phil, that that um Jim Ryan was saying, he never signed that contract. That ah, man. Bro, now let me ask you guys something. Let's play devil's advocate here. Just just saying, Sony being the market leader that they are, they're a beast. We know that. Nobody can touch them in advertising, marketing. Hell, these guys will spray paint a train and make you buy 10 copies of Spider-Man. What Would it be good for Sony to say, you know what? Let me sign an exclusive contract with Battlefield. So that way, all the PlayStation people buy Battlefield. It'll be, I guess, I don't know if exclusive to where it won't be on X, but at least have the marketing rights where they'll get certain maps, certain guns and stuff in Battlefield. The same That's kind the of deal they had. What, well, what would the problem be? The, Kai got the. I mean, Xbox got the rights to Battlefield. Remember, they market Battlefield. They do. Hmm. That yeah, is, they do. They that do is actually. news. That is news to me. So now they, yeah. I'll put the ball in Microsoft corner. You got COD now. Do you really need Battlefield? I mean, this is a conflict of interest. Interest is it not? If you own COD, which competes against Battlefield, you probably don't need those. Uh, it does not compete. It whoops it. Let's just be honest. Okay, exactly. So, all right. So, if you got two bathrooms, why are we building a third bathroom in the house? Hmm? Just saying. Well, I don't know how long the deal is, but you gotta, I, I keep it as long as I can, because then you'll really be known as the shooter boxes, they like to call it. Because you got them on. You got Battlefield. You got Call of Duty. You got Overwatch. Yeah, hey, listen. The only, thing you don't got is, only thing you ain't got is Destiny. Well, Xbox is the shooter box, and they're also the RPG box. You know, you're not gonna, you can't run a, Microsoft getting paid if you love shooters or if you love role playing games. You know, so I mean that that's that's a fact. But you know, Sony Sony still has that whole story driven genre that Microsoft can't seem to crack, which they never really did. If you think about it, you know, Xbox was never really a gaming console service or all of the above that gave you good story driven games. They never really did that. Shout out to Agent, Agent Slugger. It was good panel. Um I'm always now you we late, brother. We didn't start till like six o'clock. We're late. But you're on time. But yeah, think about that. Xbox never really gave you those story those story driven games. And I think that's it was the perfect storm. PlayStation gave you some of the better ones with the Uncharted and stuff like that. Last of Us. Days gone. Um, Ghost of Tsushima. Those are good story-driven games, and Xbox doesn't have those kind of games. But 
Also, to be fair, those type of games don't really have much replay value. They don't. Those games are something that, like, Noah can knock that out in a week while he's working. So, you know, that, that, that's why it's kind of like, eh, you know, do those kind of games work? See, those kind of games in Game Pass, even like a Hellblade 2, you know, uh, you know, look, you guys see what is selling out here. Fortnite, you know, those kind of games, those, those games as a service, destinies of the world. That's what, that's, what's getting people to come back again and again and again. I mean, once you beat one of those story driven games, there's nowhere to go. Really? I mean, you want to, you, you want to chase a platinum. All right. What happens after that? Press my case. So, all right. So let me read this part of the article. The study mentions libraries and archives can digitally preserve, but not digitally share video games and can provide an on-premises access only, which is an important distinction. You can technically play many of the games. The study states are in danger. It's just impossible if you don't live close to an um, archive. So, like, you can have access to all the books through a library. You can have access to, you know, a lot of information and all that stuff. You can access, you know... The 90s music, the 80s music, oh. even the 70s and the 60s music, you know, through streaming services and stuff like that. But when it comes to gaming, it's kind of like, uh, you, you kind of have to look real hard to play that old, you know, Spider-Man Web of the Shadows game and stuff like that. Like, you kind of have to look like it's not that easy for someone to just casually pick up on, um, you know, Sony or Microsoft's latest storefront. Mm. Well, give me one second. I want to get to the chat here. Because those games are licensed, that's why. Yeah. No, but yeah. let me let me get what Thriller said. That's Thriller said point. Thriller said the judge said Phil swore under oath that Sony would get caught for ten years, so Jim Ryan doesn't really need to sign anything. Ah, contraire. Here's no, where that's he's not in, true. That's not true. Here, here, that's not here's true. where he's in trouble. That contract had parody inside the contract, saying that they were released at the same time with the same maps and all of that stuff. They didn't sign that, so now Microsoft, they don't have to have parity of COD because they don't have a contract. They can keep the game on PlayStation. Like he said, we weren't going to take it off, but they don't have to have parity. It could be... I think you messed that up, Ricky. Uh, Hold on, wait wait a minute. Let me me go right quick. See, the judge did say that, but whoever said that forgot one thing. If they sign the contract, that was also added to it. So, and they said they offered them a contract, and Sony said no. So, that contract gone. So they probably got to do another contract now because they keep saying no to that contract. Mm. So that's not all the way true. They don't have to put it on there if Sony don't sign it. No, they don't. Yeah, that's. uh, But back to what um um. Noah and Levon were talking about. He said Noah said because they weren't licensed games, right? Is that what you were saying there, Noah? Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, what yeah, he said. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, games like um, X Men Origins Wolverine. You know, people like that Dirty. game. Yeah, like. Yeah, you gotta put some sugar in that. So, how you guys feel about video game preservation? How you guys feel about? Well, that? I think a lot of that is Nintendo's fault that it's not preserved because Nintendo is still freaking gatekeeping a lot of their classic games. You can't get them like you want to get them unless you go to the flea market and you get one of those things that look well, like. I mean, a unless you Nintendo. sign up for their online subscription service. Yeah, which is cheap. Which is cheap. Listen, would you believe it took me thirty-five years to beat Super Mario Brothers? I finally no, beat. No, I wouldn't yeah. believe it. The first one? Yeah. What? Rick, yeah. are you serious? I'm Why? dead. Why? Because here's, Why? here's what happened. I would always get if the you world would, if, you, if you would have said Mike Tyson punch out, I would have Oh, no, no. Nah, hell, I own that bitch. But, uh, but Mike God, Tyson man, wasn't hard. Super Mario Brothers? Yeah. Bro, remember, if anybody knows, the real ending is on World 8. A lot of people beat it at World 5, 6, and 7, but not World 8. World 8 is way harder, and you can get lost, and your time runs out. Oh, that ending, yeah. Yeah, the real ending with the real Princess Peach. You know, because a lot of times you can get to the end and say, hey, sorry, Mario, your princess is in another castle. And Jabronis was thinking that was the end of the game. No, you got to end it in World 8. And then once I did that in World 8, they make you start all over again. And it gets harder and shit's all different. But yeah, I finally beat the original okay. Super Mario Brothers. Super Mario Brothers? Oh. Yep, finally beat it. Finally beat the fucking thing, man. 
And uh, you know what? I um, I didn't I didn't feel so good <laughs> after uh, I, after I beat it. It was like you know what? It was like he chased his girl since high school. You know, didn't want to say nothing to you. You you meet her in life twenty years later. She's a little chubby. Got three or four kids. But you say, hey, what the hell? I waited this long, and you just do it, and then you get up and you feel bad about yourself. That's kind of what the feeling was with Mario Brothers. I was like, man, I don't know what the whole fuss was about this thing when I was like, you know, five or six. I still and, go through them sometimes. You know, and then you beat it. And then to me, one of the hardest games to ever beat was that god dang Ninja Gaiden. That was like, because there was no passwords. You ran out of continues. That was it. You had to beat it in one playthrough. That game used to give me nightmares. Well, it give, put you back to the beginning of the world, too. Yeah, that game... That game took something from me that I can't ever get back. <laughs> At least it had those cutscenes in it, though. So you yeah, know, yeah, cool. yeah, yes, sir. It was. They had the cinematic cutscenes cool. there. Yeah. yeah you get like you, back then. You didn't have anime cutscenes in fucking mm-hmm. video games. This motherfucking game had goddamn practically like real anime. Yeah, well, yeah, and dude climbing on the wall. This shit that was cool. Man, ninjas were the shit in the eighties, bro. You oh, know, God, hell yeah, That's ninja, the, ninja, oh, ninja oh, turtles. Man. Fucking ninjas were like. Yeah. The shit people wearing there's a, it. There's a whole culture of kids who grew up, and they they like would go out and pretend they were ninjas. Yeah, the the night. bro, my mother bought me the and, tabby and boots. Think Posse started doing was were doing that back in the day. Like all kinds of kids. Like I they got into wrestling and shit later. And, and yeah, like, ninjas. Them. Ninja was the shit, bro. I remember I begged my mother to buy me a pair of tabby boots for freaking my birthday. Like, mom, I want the tabby boots. She's like, I don't know where to get no damn tabby boots. And I was like, I want the tabby boots. You know what they are. You know what the tabby the boots Chinese are. Star in the wallet too, bro, man. I, <laughs> ooh, man. See, I fit right in too in a black ninja suit. You never be able to see my black ass. See what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. It was Tecmo Iron Mike. It was Tecmo. Tecmo had Ninja Gaiden. They had Tecmo Super Bowl. They had the NFL license. Oh, man, what is Tecmo doing nowadays, Levon? You got any update on Tecmo? What are they doing nowadays? I haven't been checking up on Tecmo, honestly, but my thoughts on video game preservation is that I, I like it. I like I like the idea. I mean, the younger generation, you know, my generation should be able to access, you know, the, the 90s greatness that y'all had and the 80s greatness that y'all had and even the early 2000s greatness that y'all had when it comes to gaming. So I think it would be neat to archive as much as possible when it comes to these video games, but... Well, it's yeah. up to the gamers to do that, and it's the, the companies aren't going to do that. No. So. Yeah. And then when, it, when when somebody creates an emulator, people get mad and start jumping up and down. Ah, hey, you stole our stuff. <laughs> yeah, like n- Nintendo. Yeah, like bro, stop holding it. Like, you can get money for that. Like man, I, I don't know, bro. I don't know some things work. Like even those old 007, those games aren't that old. It was in high school when they came out, but people still love playing that when it came to like um. When it came out again, when they released the um, the yeah, whole yeah, earlier this year, yeah, yeah, it like nice people... see, it was nice ha- having access to those games. It was nice. It was, it was, it was, it was. Where we at, Levon? On our check. Right, where we at is Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart. Oh PC. shit! Let's talk about it. Yeah. So, oh yeah. man, Noah, take so the let, point let's on talk this. Talk about the <laughs> interesting requirements when it comes to this pc Isn't the it? minimum requirements uh-oh, uh-oh. For 720p 30 fps parker's once you pc get away with an intel core i3 8th gen Parker. and a nvidia gtx 960 and a radeon rx 450 and you just only need eight gigabytes of ram not 16 gigabytes of ram but eight gigabytes eight? of ram and you just need 75 gigabytes of storage of a mechanical hard drive. Whoa! Not an SSD. Whoa! But whoa! A whoa! 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 Hard drive. Where's this SSD that cures cancer that we put, we're talking about? You mean you don't need one of those? No, it's recommended, but it's not required. You know, where's Parker when you need him? My 2070 Super now, time can run this game. Uh, <laughs> did Sony lie? Yes. That's the question. Well, Hell yeah, Sony lied. Go they ahead. always lie. Get him, cuz. Get him. And get him. Please, they always lie. Hell hey. yeah. Well, the other company, we'll get to him too, but let's beat up on Sony for a bit. Now, I was told that games like Godfall, Ratchet and Stank, 
couldn't be played without this no, super no, Ratchet sonic. And, Ratchet and Stank was a good game. I ain't gonna lie. Ratchet you, you, and but, but, no, no. Yeah, no, Ratchet and I know what I said. I know but, what I said. Yeah, but I'm not. <laughs> I'm not saying it's a bad game. I was told that I needed a goddamn talentsman to play this damn thing. That it wasn't good enough. I needed the SSD, the power of oh, the let, PS5. Let me, let me, let me, let me play devil's advocate. I think they meant like <laughs> this the AP could be possible on the base PlayStation 4. So in order to, um, you know, achieve their vision, they needed that PlayStation 5 SSD to achieve it. You know, based on what they were doing for the PS5. Man, boom, honestly, boom, the boom. game was a beautiful game, um, and that's absolutely. All I, can say. I, don't, I don't know why the, why it was um, touted as it can you know cure cancer, like Rick um, Ricky Brown said. But um, I yeah. mean, it's an L on Sony. They always lie. These companies, I mean, that's what they do. Is this lie. game could have been done on the PlayStation Four based on I, the yo? That, that they developer had. came out and said that when he first saw the game. When he first saw them show off Ratchet and Clank, which it looked good, like Deuce Deuce said, it looked real good. But he said, hey, look, they're not really doing much when they're jumping from world to world. He said, this can be played on the PS Pro. That guy called that shit out when it first happened. Yeah, he did. Yeah, yeah, he called. And everybody I'm called playing, them I'm everything. Devil's advocate, by the way. But a man of God. a child. They called him everything but a child of God. When he came out, the ponies wanted that man hung from his freaking knees and caned in Singapore. It was a damn shame. That's because they spoil brats. That's all it is. Well, they, they, they at hundred percent. Now that's my that, that, again. I don't hate PlayStation. I hate those PlayStation fanboys that think Sony. Because like I hate when it'll be like this. Like we'll you post hate that they that they think Sony is God. Well, not only that. Like somebody will post something in Discord, right, about a game, and they'd be like, "Oh, this game is such and such. Is this sort of is it exclusive to PlayStation? Like, get the fuck out of here! Like, are they supposed to get every fucking thing?" Like, yo, I get tired of that. Is it exclusive to PlayStation? Oh, this is a PlayStation exclusive. Yeah, exclusives, huh? Let me know how that works out for them Final Fantasies. Exclusives. You're only selling 3 million copies. Exclusive. Exclusives kill a freaking brand, bro. It kills it. It kills Unless it. Unless you're Nintendo. Well, that's different because they have almost a goddamn <laughs> one-to-one on their fucking their, uh, first party. Not everybody has that. Microsoft and Sony wish they had the engagement. That Nintendo had on their first party. Because first party is where... Well, Microsoft don't care anymore. You got a whole bunch of shit in the I think, subscription service. So they don't really care about that. They just want you sixteen ninety nine a month. But the whole point of this is... I just hate that PlayStation fans act like... You know, they're supposed to get everything. Like, bro, that's not how the world works. You can't have, you can't win every battle. If you win every battle, you get every exclusive. You win all the... Bro, there's no point of, of, of the other person existing. That shit, that's a monopoly. Like, that's dumb as hell. Like, they, they want to fight back on the Activision shit because they, they act like Xbox can't get no dubs. Like, get the fuck out of here with that. I hate that shit. Like, oh, they act like they can't get no dubs. You know, they was mad. Mad as all hell. And and I'm glad I'm seeing a fallout on Twitter and all this other stuff. You He's glad doing... that you're seeing, like, people like Marlon Gaming Nation get, um... Yeah, get roasted. He deserves it. Saltiest gamer. Those guys, man, let them burn. Let them burn for that. Because that's all they do, man. No, no, Ty Kid. The bots don't do the same. The bots don't do... First of all, we had nothing to cap for. We're always losing. What are you talking about? <laughs> what do you mean Rick, we you do the same? Right now. Rick, Rick, you capping right We're now. We always lose. You, we you, never you know, win. You know, that, you know, you know that bots yeah, are state capping. Are so so don't, don't, do that. No. don't do that. Don't do that. No. Don't do that, Don't do that, Rick. Like you're not no. a fanboy, too. No, no. I'm not. That, Rick. I'm, I'm PC way. Master Race, God damn it. No, I see it. Both ways, hundred. But let Buck, let's be, let's keep it a bean, Buck. It's more extreme on the PlayStation they are, they side. Are, no, no, they are in number one right now because of the fucking corporate whoring and that shit that I saw with Lean and Con and shit. But I'm setting that shit aside. I'm, you know, I'm saying they're equally fucking cringe and stupid. I but agree. Right now, I agree in with my Buck. Opinion, the bots are taking the fucking cake. They've, they've, you guys have extreme. You got, you guys have basically pushed them into extremism. Well, at this point. if you want value well, ask him dog what if he thinks that the, the this fucking frankenstein monster that they created if he's if he is he's proud of it well they only did that because the other guy wouldn't let him get the games the fucking army they got and fucking 
they got an army just like the fucking bots do. Yeah, they do, but Buck, when you hoard all these games, when you don't let you get the Final Fantasies, when you can't get the Call of Duty maps, you know, you can't get all of these good games. It ain't just the games. Also, the games are mostly multiplayer. It's the content. That nastiness, that nastiness of the politics over here, because people, I don't, I don't think these younger kids understand how nasty that shit is. This is not just well, if that's the case, game. Nintendo is the worst in all of them. Nintendo, well, yeah, I'm just saying, yeah. we keep let's keep our crumb side shit away from th- those people and let the, that fucking the dirtiness of politics stay out of fucking gaming. It, that's just fucking gross. It, it all of it. Yeah, I, that's why I want this shit to be done. You know, yeah, but ponies are gonna cry about it. I mean, they they, they are. Fucking, yeah, but let's it, be it, honest it, here. When you got guys talking about they're not buying Call of Duty or Diablo anymore, half those guys don't ever play those games that said that. Like they're gonna do something. Like, but come at the on! Same time, these fucking people celebrate like they won something, and they don't play the games either. So that's why we're saying you're capping because it's the same shit. A- AP said that's Phil's fault. Horrible at management. No, nah, I disagree. I'm not saying that Phil is running a company like I can. I'm just saying, as far as Sony going to the table and locking down an exclusive, like you know how this works, right? AP, here's what happens: Sony's the market leader. They're saying, look, we got 75 percent share of the market. So that particular publisher is going to do an exclusive deal with them it doesn't make sense for microsoft who only has 30 percent of the market to try to obtain exclusivity because it's going to cost them double or even triple of what sony has to play pay because they're coming from behind you see they have the lower market share so they're they would have to pay so let's say if sony be like look they can get exclusive for 100 million dollars they got 75 percent of the market they pay 100 million if xbox wants that same game on that same scale they would probably have to pay 300 to 500 million dollars because they are in third place when it comes to console sales they're talking about what do you have out there in the wild and you know that's how they determine that so that's what I'm talking about. They already had the mark. Market share is more powerful than money. Think about this. They're selling more consoles. They're selling more games. And they're not even worth a fucking 50th of what Microsoft is worth. It's not always all about the money, bro. It's about the market share. That's what it is. So that that's what that's not bullshit. The 360 era was different. The 360 era, they had marketing deals. They weren't the marketing leader at the 360 era. No. PlayStation 2 was coming as the number one selling console ever. Ever. Now, albeit by having a DVD player or whatever, that means absolutely nothing. PlayStation 2 was the number one seller. So people was coming off of PlayStation 2 to PlayStation 3. The PlayStation 3 got cute and priced itself out of the console market. The Xbox was $100 cheaper. So people went over to that. The 360 came out a year before, too. Yes, it came out a year before and $100 cheaper. So what happens? Xbox got a head start, and then they started signing deals with publishers. Say, hey, put your game on Xbox. We got Call of Duty, blah, 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 blah. They had marketing rights to that stuff. Now, PlayStation, having a system that was $100 more, told people to get second jobs. People weren't feeling that. So PlayStation rebounded once they dropped their price, and them fucking Uncharted games dropped. That changed fucking everything. And then Microsoft got cute, didn't renew their COD license or marketing, whatever the hell they had. And that's how that that's how that whole thing went down. So AP says, I mean, as far as in content, you can get an Xbox. Stop lying. Man, look, you wouldn't get no exclusives. PlayStation exclusive, but listen, exclusives is about to be a way to pass, bro. Now, PlayStation can compete easily. You know, where they're talking about, you know, three hundred million to to make a horizon forbidden west. And all, if they release that shit day and date on PC, bro, it should have sell like hotcakes. There's more PCs out there than PlayStation 5s. I think it depends on the game. God of War? Or it's exclusive. God of War, it's, the games like that are perfect to be exclusive mm-hmm. because they're like a movie experience that you can, you know what I'm saying? So if you were, would you release Horizon on PC day and date with the console, Buck? Uh... Not if I'm still trying to sell the hardware. Not at this point. Mm. No, okay, they, I see they what you're saying. They make it be that you absolutely need the hardware. Like yeah. you can't play that game. But how? My question, still, yeah, was how long yeah. can they do that though? Because you know we got to make your 300 million back, and I don't think you're getting your 300 million back selling exclusively to consoles. And when it gets old, I, yeah, you know why would they? And you, everybody says the I PC guys are pirates anyway. I look at it like it's a big, it's almost like a movie trailer for your, for your console, you know? 
like the, a game like that. Like, it's different when it's the, something like a call it, you know, the Call of Duties and the uh, all these other games that you're talking about when you're saying, you know, because the more people you have playing it, the, you know, the more money you make in a in a let's say the Red De- or not Red Dead, uh, GTA Online, for mm-hmm. instance. Obviously, you want that on as many consoles as possible. Yeah, absolutely. PC, but that's different than you're trying to brand your hardware and you want people to get it on your hardware. Something like a fucking Horizon is perfect for that. It shows off the graphics. It's going to be the best looking thing on there. That's different because then you, if you put it everywhere, it's like you're just wasting those marketing dollars on, you know, just just selling software, which you could do with a lot of other type of games. But that type of game, that's why Sony does it. Does those does that single player? Uh, they work in that context of a, an exclusive to sell your hardware or to get eyeballs in your hardware at the very least. You know, mm, get them mm. keeping casuals and, and then yeah. you maybe make the money off the other shit if i can you know you try to you try to make your gta online whatever call of duty boys of yes sir so oh, the way i see it anyway oh i'd be pissed mac max and a brick if what if cadillac told you what if Cadillac lied and sold you last year's version I'd be mad because they tried to. It's funny you say that, Mac, with Cadillac because I was gonna get a um a 2015 Escalade, and if anybody knows anything about Cadillac, they changed the body style. But this dude came up to me and said it was a 2015 Escalade ESV. I get there, and the same body style as my 2010, and I'm like, wait a minute, this ain't no 2016, bro. And um, you know, he tried to tell me, well, it's got low miles and all the other bullshit. So yeah, he tried to get me. He didn't know that I, all I ever driven was Cadillac since I was 16, but I'm in a Pathfinder now. Until uh, well, we t- I actually got the Pathfinder because the twins are gonna start learning how to drive soon, and uh, I'm gonna give them the Pathfinder, and I'll go and get me another Cadillac. But Levon, all right. So next topic is basically this journalist, uh, Jess G- Corden. Um, StarCraft Three is currently in development at Blizzard. So StarCraft Two came out back in like. 2010 you know i saw it like a best buy you know packet game thing or whatever you know i saw it but i never you know played it because i wasn't really you know playing starcraft you, know, you said stuff like that or anything like that hmm? you said starcraft yeah starcraft 2 starcraft 3 is in development oh yeah. that's right that's right uh, this is that. from uh um, jess gordon so oh. Hey, I didn't. Just no, I, I'll be nice. I, I saw a picture yeah. of Buddy with Sarah Barnes. So it I, uh, had so StarCraft Two. You know, it had like a couple of um, expansions which came out in 2016, and also Blizzard has been pretty quiet about the franchise. You know, they've been pretty much focusing on um, Overwatch and Diablo. Smart. So, what do you guys think of a new StarCraft? Are you guys interested? Are you guys not interested? Or are you guys just gonna wait for Game Pass? No, I wouldn't wait if it looks good because I'm back into Diablo now. I've been playing Diablo 4. And StarCraft was my friend. That was my shit. Uh, I never played Now, is that only on PC? I don't remember, but on my first laptop, I, I got it installed on, I think it was Windows Millennium. I don't remember which lap, but I know it was a compact laptop, but I had it on there. And I remember it was like a game that I could get running on the, my my very first laptop, which I made tons of music and shit on. But I still have that fucking piece of shit. But uh, yeah, Iron Mike yeah, said it's only on PC. I, 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 I can't cap, bro. I, I never played the first two StarCraft, so I ain't finna sit here and say. If you played Warcraft and all that shit, it's the same thing. It's an RTS. I just, I just started uh, World of Warcraft, me and um, Videli. He's trying to teach me how to play this damn game, which is odd with the keyboard thing using like uh, S to go forward or D, whatever the hell it, it oh, was. Yeah, yeah that's just fucking weird, bro. W S A D. Yeah, bro. I was like, uh, yeah, yeah. A W go forward, A left, D is go right, and it's it, like a D pad, bro. That's, yeah, basically. Why now? I don't understand. Why can't you use a controller? Those don't seem too complicated. Because it's a computer game. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah, why. Well, you have to... Oh man, <laughs> Iron Mike said, "Damn, them basic PC controls, Rick." No, Iron Mike, I gotta still use the mouse too, man. It's just bothersome. But I did notice something with playing um, Call of Duty on the uh, PC. Did you know that the mouse auto aims for you on this thing? Which I, Call of Duty did you play? I bought Modern Warfare Two like yesterday, mm-hmm. and if you play with the keyboard and mouse, you can just 
it auto aims for you. It shoots for you. So I was like, damn. I was like, this right here, hell, you can be lazy as hell. No wonder why those the, the KD for those PC guys be so high. I was like, they've come a long way. Yeah. Yeah. Nah, well, nah Rick got them cheeks in. He done bought some of them cheeks. I ain't auto aiming. I got to aim on whoever I want to shoot. I was just going to say that. Rick using cheats on the low. I'm not. I'm just, you got to see. Look at that. I, I try to be nah, truthful, nah, nah, Rick, I and I've been accused. I don't call of duty. I have to aim on with that mouth. I don't know how you getting drugged on You could go. You could go auto aim. I've seen it. It never worked for me. You know, it says auto aim with the mouse. It says auto. Like if you use the mouse to, to move left to right, and it auto aims for you. That's what Rick, what's saying? your source for those cheats? Uh, yeah, I swear to God, I just went into the um the options menu and I just saw it. I I, I did nothing. I, 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 I'm not a cheater. I didn't do it. Okay, it wasn't me. I lied. I wasn't lied. The governor. Oh man, it's the death of divorce. Yeah, you know he won't. Div- I don't think he's. Div- I think he's just separated, right? Because they I don't want to fuck up the brand, so he was like, "Fuck it." I don't know, but his son, his son looks like a little miniature fucking Schwarzenegger, though. Have you seen the, the the um the one that he had outside the marriage? Yeah, uh-huh. yeah, he wants he's, to bodybuild, he's right? Like the cool dude too. Yeah, look, it's, out, yeah, you can't blame that kid. Yeah, yeah, that that and his father conceived him. It's yeah, not his and fault. He's in his life, I mean, which is great, you know. So he's he's not like he's disowned him or something, you know. Oh, First of all, AP, I don't use real percentage p- shooting players on 2K. That would be our buddy, Mr. Zaire Johnson. Not me. That was Z. Z made all the people on his team put it to real player percentages. Not me. Okay? Post-up team didn't do that. Post-up team will be, uh, he wanted you to use the, um, the, the, the green shit, that, or whatever it was. Yeah. Damn, Iron Mike took it back. Said you got a game genie, Rick. God, oh man, man. Oh, God, I, had man, I got no respect in these game industry. See what happens when you beat people <laughs> up. This is what happens when you're a winner. Cool. Everybody wants to see you fall. You see what I'm saying? Iron Mike mad because I threatened him in Street Fighter, and you know we never really got to fight. But he beat up on my man Badman, who was easy work out here. You know, no disrespect, Badman, but you easy work. So he beat up Badman. He beat up Nico. Two of the worst Street Fighter players of the Discord. He beat them up. And then he went around here. You look like one of those pay-to-win players. I swear to God. Like, you bought everything in Fortnite, and you just max out your player. I would. You look like one of them dudes. Well, I am interested in this Battle Pass thing to buy for Call of Duty. I saw this here, and I was like, well, I don't really want to grind for these tokens. Like, I wanted to see what the price would be. So... Hey, look, Iron Mike, I don't know how good or how good you aren't in Street Fighter. All I know is that... You're beating up on Nico and Batman. I mean, come on. You know, you're beating up on Laurel and Hardy here. Like, come on. Those guys are awful. Oh, man. He, uh, Ty Kid says, you know, we can run a team battle and custom match. Now, now Ty Kid can fight. Now, he uses that, that big-ass woman. He, he beat me up with her. But when I went and grabbed Ken, he changed characters. Yeah, he was eating a lot of Horyukens. Uh, I'll give him that. He had that big-ass oh, woman. Don't nobody nobody want to see it, though. And yeah, that big ass girl, bro. She probably needs Angief to beat her. Like, yo, she hits hard. She gets mad. Uh, Merck said, Ricky don't want that smoke with Iron Mike and Street. Man, please. I ain't never look. I fought Noah. Noah was hard. I finally got a couple dubs on him. Noah, Noah is like Floyd Mayweather with that Street Fighter. He just adapts. He, he kind of figure it out because each came in there beating dudes down. And then Noah was like getting some close fights with him. So Noah, Noah don't go away. You know, he was still playing that, you know, that shit crazy. He does use the best character in Ken, you know, because Ken is like, if you fuck up when you're fighting Ken, he's going to punish you. But um, the AP said, Rick, we're going to kill you in COD. No, you're not. You're not. I'm a, yo, my, I got 1.75 KD right now in COD. What? Can't see me. That's what I'm talking about. But anyway. Where the hell are we at in this show, man? I done got off track um, here. We're, we're pretty much done, so let's talk about what we've been playing. All right. Been playing, you know, some old Marvel games, such as Marvel Ultimate Alliance. Uh, I saw Spider-Man, that. And Shadow you had a little Steam whoopsie Dead. there with the uh, saying that that's what console gamers want when me and Noah was just playing the Ultimate Alliance's games, Mr. Well, Lavon. What, what I really meant that you can't really easily access it. Like, you can't just, you know, casually buy it on your well, not now. PlayStation or... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, I'm talking about now. 
now. Yeah, hey Noah, yeah, but you still want to run that know. Ultimate Alliance? Remember, we got some yeah, yeah. some achievements yeah. we gotta get. Yeah, we got so many games we gotta beat. Uh, yeah, we do. Yeah, yeah. We gotta get on that Redfall too. We gotta get on that Redfall too. So. No, I'm down, brother. Yes, sir. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna have my kids go grab my luggage so I can finish packing it. And I can um. Get this shit going, bro. I'm... I really love the Steam Deck. I really uh, yeah, do. I see. Yeah. But wait, what have you been playing, um, Noah? I've been playing a little bit of everything. Halo, Infinite, uh, Call of Duty, uh, Redfall. I just beat, I beat Jedi Survivor. Okay. Uh, yeah. Was it good? Yeah, it was really good. Uh, mm. It started off really slow, but it gets really, really good. Okay. The story's interesting. What's Deuce Deuce been playing? I know he was playing that 2K. Yeah, 2K and um and Dying Light. Dying Light. Okay, I played the you played Dying the first Light one too. or the second? Oh, okay, I played the first one. The second one. The second one. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't get a chance to play the second one yet. I played. I did play. The first one was cool. You know. Where... Oh, and I started GTA Five all over again on um Xbox because oh, I already Xbox finished it on the PS Five. Yeah, yeah. Because you know mm-hmm. they got it in Game Pass now, so. That's what I'm playing on on Xbox, bro. Them Grand Theft Auto story modes are the shit, bro. <laughs> Yo, oh, yeah. they're the shit, man. That's now listen. I rather Microsoft went after those dudes instead of uh. I still think San Andreas is the best though. Yeah, people said that. No, it's still San Andreas. Well, yeah, I, don't, like, man. I think Andreas Vice City. To me, one. Vice. I like Vice City. That was my favorite I one. Like a lot of people think GTA Four was underrated. Oh, oh yeah, was that GTA Russian guy? Underrated. Yeah. Red Dead Two is better than all of them, though. Really? <laughs> they need to come out with a with an updated version of Red Dead Two. I love that game. That was good. There's both of them remastered. Red Dead yeah. One remake could be happening. Oh well, man! You know, Higher Mike said GTA bad. Four was trash. Yeah. <laughs> Higher Mike said GTA Four was trash. Oh, nah, man. GTA Four was was definitely underrated. All right, don't game. worry, dudes. Dudes, I'm gonna beat his ass in the Street Fighter yeah. for that slander. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you stream it. Oh, no doubt. So, Buck, what, you can't what, hide Street Fighter. They, they got all your matches on file. You can't hide. So, like, when dudes be claiming that they won or lost, you just go to the archives. They're always recording, man. Like Z said, I'm always recording. Yeah, them shit's always recording. Huh. Yeah, them Street Fighter's always Main, recording. Mainly uh, Diablo 4. Mm. Hey, what's up? Hey, what's up? What's up? Some Halo Infinite. Y'all ain't, trying to, y'all ain't trying to hop on no Halo? Oh, man. Come on now. Yeah. Oh, man. You know, I got it. I don't have it on easy. So, it's, you know, grinding on Diablo 4 when you're on. I can't do. It. I'm playing. Noah trying to bring back the, the engagement numbers up for Halo. No, nah, you know. nah, he's trying to do it for Redfall. Like Redfall, I, I enjoy playing Redfall as much as people beat on it, spit on it, and kicked it. I actually enjoyed Redfall. But no, Chad, there's a Halo. They got the old Halo Two and Halo Three maps. Hmm. Well, uh, we'll check yeah, it out. That. We'll check it out. Hey, look again. I won't be gaming next week. I'll be down in Florida. So. This is, yeah, well, I'm, I'm going to be behind on everything. My Street Fighter no skills Steam is going to be all screwed up. I have a Steam Deck, but I'm not, I, I was, I didn't I even, think, no, and Titus wanted to, he wanted to buy it and all this other, I, I don't know, I'm like. You got a laptop or something though, at least, right? Not a gaming one, no, oh. no, no. Well, I mean, you got the Surface Pro 9, I mean, yeah. you can play some games. Yeah. Just make a Game Boy. Well, I'm sure my kids will bring their Switch and I can get some Tears of the Kingdom yeah, action Switch, going. That's, that's enough. Yeah. But, you know, we'll see uh, We'll see what's going on with that. Oh, my, why y'all ask me what I've been playing? I've been playing freaking Diablo. I've been playing Street Fighter, Modern Warfare 2, Star Wars. So that's just what I've been... And um, a little bit of Redfall here and there. So that's what I've been playing, which is all going to stop come 7 o'clock tomorrow. So... um. Just try to get play what I can, you know. That's that. What about you? Uh, All right, Ty, man. Yeah, Ty, Ty man. what you been playing, brother? What you been playing? Uh, I've been playing uh, Call of Duty Black Ops 1, 2. Uh, uh, I still ain't beat Diablo. I'm still trying to beat that. I've been playing Street Fighter. Uh, I like Diablo so far. That's good. Uh, what else have I been? I played a little bit Apex. I'm waiting on 2K. I'm going to try to XO Prime. Well, everybody's saying it's trash, but I'm going to give it a try. What was the Metacritic on yeah, that? I'm surprised Levon didn't have that in the show. Did they release the Metacritic on XO Prime yet? XO when Primal, I saw the, the day the before Capcom it game? came Yeah, when I saw it the day before it came out, I didn't even see nobody review it. They didn't even review it for PlayStation. So It's in Game Pass, right? Yeah, it's in Game Pass, but you know, usually yeah. PlayStation have more had a reviews on it and, and nobody reviewed it so i don't know 
I still don't see any reviews on the PS5, but let me go on Xbox. Let me see if they have any reviews. Yeah, that'll be uh, good. One, they, they only got like one critic review, and that's from Xbox Era, and it's a 75. Dang, oh, man, shut up. Xbox oh, shut up to Trillo. Guys. What's good, Trillo? We ain't heard you in a while. Yeah, I ain't heard from Trillo in a minute. What's up, Trillo? Um, is there any other scores for Exo Prime? Mm-hmm. Nothing for PC. Let me see if there's anything for PS4. Um, ooh, nothing for PS4. And let's go to the Xbox One and... Still nothing. Nothing. I'm huh? you. Would have been calling the crash. Bro, I would call it a conspiracy up, here. If that game wasn't on Game, game Pass, to review it starting at 12 p.m. Pacific time on July 15th. Wow, so it's today, and wow. there's still nothing. There you go. Hmm. Well, there you go. Well, Buck Johnson told us what he was playing. Noah told us. Levon, you told us what you were playing. I believe that is the end of the show. And I'm glad because I got to take a dump again. So, uh, Yo, Rick, hold geez. on. Before you end. Um, <laughs> before, before you end, did you see um, Secret Invasion since we're not going to rock tomorrow? Yeah, we are rocking tomorrow. Um, at two yeah, o- we're going to do a bit. We're going to do an early. You no, know, uh, I should. I, you know, I got to talk to the dude if he can do it. Well, if I don't do my show tonight, I might do mine earlier tomorrow, too. Because yeah. I got a lot of things. What time, though? Because about. I was thinking like around two or three. Oh, I was going to go, but then you guys were going. And then, Rick, when were you going to communicate that, Rick? Well, uh, today. Like, we were just talking about it because me and Levon was talking about it because I can't do it at late seven o'clock. I'll be in the air. So, yeah, yeah, we'll so, that. so um, I figured it um, it depends. Whatever time Buck is doing his, we'll go after him. Okay. Well, I'd go way earlier than that. What, what, what time are you going, Buck? Or if I don't go. Ahead. Eastern time. Oh, probably like noon. Noon. So if Buck's going Maybe at noon, noon, two, noon if noon, he's one. going noon Eastern, let's go 2 o'clock Eastern. Right. Okay, okay, so 1 p.m. my time. Okay. Yep, 1 p.m. your yeah, time, 2 o'clock sure. Eastern. I might, do one, I might do one right after this. All right, well, we'll tune in. I haven't heard, I, yeah, we'll see. Well, if I'm not on a damn toilet, that's kind of where this is going. Uh, but, yeah. Oh, man. Rick, you better situate yourself. Ain't you getting on a plane, fuck nigga? Just, yeah, bro. Bro, I done threw up and everything, bro, and I still feel like trash, what's, man. What's know. up, guys? Pastor, oh, we need, we need, we need, you, to pray uh, Pastor, yeah. need you to pray for yeah, Rick. Yeah, Pastor Joe, I need some prayers, brother. I need some hey, prayers. Pastor, yeah. yeah, 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 you're getting all that, man. Hear this. Everything that we said, Ricky, it came true. These ponies. Oh my God. Right. <laughs> he jumped right into the cap. Yeah, he did. They got nothing, they got nothing right, uh, Rick. Pastor, I, I was no. right too. I flipped the coin and said, oh, yeah, the, the business uh, is going to win. Oh, I'm a genius. I, I, mean, nothing, I, I know Pastor not, Joe been waiting. Not, they have a trillion dollars. <laughs> Listen to me. Like, not one of these ponies really? got what they said. Not one was able to, to, to predict what would have gone go on. And right now, this ABK deal, um, you know, the Stellar Showcase have these ponies yeah. switching up character. I don't think right now, Robert all... really predicted it me. either. They just they Buck, just happen to be right. Buck, I <laughs> told know. I told Buck to buckle I'm up. Gonna say that regardless. Buck, do you remember? Do you remember? <laughs> this dude. Buckle up. And, uh, in fact, in fact, if we do this show later, you're invited because I want I really want to know what the post. ABK because you know my the title of my show would be AD after disclosure and after the APK deal. Yeah. And, and what what happens now? How do they kick into high gear, et cetera, et cetera? Because I want to know it from the bot perspective. Well, well, well actually, happens. let's start that show, Buck, because here it is. I need I need to get some of this anger uh, out. These ponies <laughs> are sick. Start the show, man. Well, well it's, <laughs> listen, if, you know. I'm, but I'm but, I'm but I'm put it in Why Discord you when you start your you show. Be angry? Shouldn't you be rejoicing, Pastor? Shouldn't this be a good no, moment I in need, history? Uh, yeah, you heard him. He I said need, no. <laughs> I, I need to. No, I am angry because I'm angry with the ponies that not one of them had the gall or the testicular fortitude to say that that, oh, that, oh, that, that, that that PlayStation had a very bad year or is having a very bad year. Not one is being honest. And they told the bots to be honest. Right, uh, but not one could have taken their own advice and be honest um, that this year is not going so well. But pastor, but but pastor. Jim Ryan, wait, wait. Has, <laughs> so they, you know, he is a cap bone. Y'all can't stop, Pastor Joe. Has, has, 
the, the, the yeah, bot man. ever admitted that, that the thought leaders on the bot no, side the, ever admitted the, the, that things were going bad in the last 10 years? No. You so guys, you guys, need, you guys need to set the example. Don't wait for the bots to do it. Set oh, the example. Man, Pastor, that's, that's oh, man. Hold on, hold on. Hold on man. Man. So, so you said, so Pastor. He might be yo, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> He's ready to go. Pastor's <laughs> turned up. Uh, right, I'm, oh, I'm gonna let Rick go, 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 go. Let's end the show. Let's end the show. Yeah, let, let's end the show. And Buck, let us know when your show's gonna start because Pastor's gonna be in rare form. These guys are sick. And then know me, he always said, you guys are sick. Okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. But don't worry, I have the cure. So everybody, everybody, Buck, thanks for tuning Buck, in. Bro, My man. In the chat, Buck, drop it, drop your channel yeah, in the chat. Well, My know. brother AP the shooter, straight out of Hartford. You know how we roll in Connecticut, brother. And my man Agent Slugger, Max City, Thriller Ali. Can't have an Xbox show without those two brothers. I appreciate that. Trillo, good to see Trillo. Haven't seen him in a minute. He's doing good. That's good to see, you, brother. Ty Kid, uh, Freco, he was in here. Briarios was in here. Who else we got here, man? There's a lot. A lot of the brothers showed up. I appreciate that. Yeah, uh, man. Yeah, my Iron Mike, who's gonna get smoked in Street Fighter later on. Um, who? Uh, Merc. Merc always come through. Appreciate him. Um, I think Ty Kid gets a get a wrench now. He come through all the time. Pastor Joe for coming through. Yeah, Buck. Thanks, Buck, for coming through. Buck. Buck saved the show and everything. And um. And Noah you, and, and Deuce you. Deuce come through because I was taking the Deuce and the brothers came and jumped in. Did a double I, take while meeting a McChicken. I'm like, oh what is man, going on? I appreciate that, y'all, because I, I was down bad, bro. Stomach hurting, and and Deuce Deuce and Buck jumped in, and Noah came mm -hmm. through. That helped because man, I, I was down bad. I was down it's bad. Triple B, yo, we got we got to help Triple B out. No bro. doubt, no doubt. We we got to wait for our leader to get back. He said the twelfth, but I haven't heard from him so. Okay. Yeah, we got to see what's going up with him, and uh, it's gonna be a big show though when Z do get back. So that's Max, gonna be Max. yeah, a big show, big show. Hopefully, you get the Johnny J's and stuff. The landlord fights going through. I already see it happening. I already see it. So that'll be good. Um, shout out to all the people in the chat that rocked out with us. The panel members that came through. The brothers that didn't come through. Uh, Loki and um, Parker. We know you guys coming through. I'm surprised Teddy didn't try to come through and hijack the show like he always do. But, hey, everybody, thank you. Um, there'll be no arcade next week, but we do have the Watchtower tomorrow. Thanks for tuning in, and I will get up with y'all tomorrow at 2 o'clock. Tomorrow, 2 o'clock, we're going to do the Watchtower because our ratings.